And you could be lying, and I'll believe you. <laughs> we are live. Got a whole package of it over there with my dice supplies. L lying and believing? Wait, what? Wait, hmm? what is Being all this DM? What? <laughs> I was looking up the dice set that I think would be really pretty, but they're kind of expensive on Kraken, and it's called their Lux dice. And I couldn't remember the material that the insides looked like, and Fox said it, and I was like, yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> so, Sounds right. How are all of you? Yeah. Excited. Sick and mm -hmm. excited. Jazzed. Very excited. I feel like it's been ages since we've been here it's been 84 right. years it's been well we got it all years. out you know as to you know some i don't say issues but things that needed to be adjusted and now we're we're happier for it and excited and rojan's yes. super excited which is what makes me really excited so, i yeah. was so freaking overstimulated last night <laughs> i was i could tell by the time <laughs> By the time I went to bed, I was completely just unhinged. <laughs> like, I don't think I've been that overstimulated for anything in a very long time. Like, we would be watching videos as our, like, normal thing of watching videos in bed before we fall asleep. And then it just kept getting interrupted by, hey, what about this thing? <laughs> it's like, oh, hey, about my character, what if I do this? Or, like, what if this is part of the backstory? And it's just very much awesome just, just thoughts 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 yes. yes oh thank god the cards fit i'm looking at the stream right now although you could always shrink them if you wanted to but i was like i, I was just like i just needed them there we go i, I, I made them too I, wide before and i was like nope skinnier <laughs> i shrank them down just a, a wee bit so there was a little space between like the border of like the cameras and where the cards begin yeah. so well, I was figuring out, like, why why did this one not work than the other ones? And then I realized the name border I used is a little bit fatter than what I usually go for. I was like, oh, that's on me. But I'm not changing it. <laughs> I'll change the card. It, um, <laughs> it, it has been ages since I've seen some of you, anyway. How have you been, Malls? It's been a while. Uh, it has been a while. And, um... I don't even know, dude. It looks been, like... <laughs> like <laughs> Some mood five years it's something like that wow yeah. it's been the 84 years. no seriously um i don't know i'm not streaming as much as i can just because i had to get a an irl job but um how dare you oh it's actually not so bad <laughs> um i work with um skin cancer patients and i work with oh, a really wow. good dermatologist who surgeon who does good work and i like working there a lot a lot better than my previous job which was That's hella cool. toxic but then other than that haven't gotten to stream as much but i would like to get back into it and then i don't know moved and that's it pretty boring pretty boring stuff I'll what about take. you guys i don't want to talk about myself anymore what about you guys <laughs> uh, yeah, happy I... to be playing D, D with everyone again mm -hmm. yeah, I, oh I'm... it's been actually forever since i played D, &D so please excuse me if i am Ooh, a little girl. bit rusty Ooh, girl. yeah i saw if it, it helps i saw uh... your tweet during the I was like, um... please please yeah. <laughs> we, we were like it, we were like in the middle of our i think our lore show <laughs> And I'm like, oh, oh I'm, right. I'm a just check Twitter. And I just saw, I, I saw your tweet. And I'm like, hey, Malls has been on here before. <laughs> I was like, dear anyone, please <laughs> bring me into your game. Hey, please I give D&D. &D. <laughs> I promise it, I'll be good. If it helps, uh, this is actually, technically this show was Sugar's first time, I think, playing D&D &D ever. But kind of threw her into the fire. Um, well... Uh, I, on, on here anyway yeah th this is my first show on here yeah. i played a, a little bit irl mm -hmm. and um so yeah and it's okay I, every time i come on here i forget how to play my character so it's totally fine a lot of <laughs> that's what everybody does do that. i mean of some us of us do. have been playing every week for the last like 10 years and we still forget how things work so. I I yes. am excited to yeah. be playing a wizard though because I've only ever played like melee characters. I have played a cleric, but it was very Same. melee centered. <laughs> um, I think at one point I had a ranger with two long swords who like dual wielded long swords, and I look back and I'm like that was that was a lot. 
that was something else. But yeah, I'm excited to be a little squishy. That's okay. You can be squishy squishy? with me. We are. I think we all of us, and except maybe one person. Uh, there's and two. There's two not so squishy. Two not so squishy. It's, it's kind of. I'm not squishy. squishy. I'm kind of semi squishy for now, but my AC is like. I'm Same. pretty. I'm sitting pretty. So. Well, I mean, we're all level one. one so. <laughs> Save me, muscular okay. barbarian. Save me. <laughs> we're just gonna hide behind the barbarian. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Wait, who's that? He asked for pickles. But then in an actual fight, we're like... <laughs> she, no, she, actual fight, she asked for pixel, pickles axe to the face. <laughs> oh, no. But All yeah, right. I am super excited for this. I may have put way too much time in just to thinking about things last night. Fried my brain. Good. It's okay. I'm running on copious amounts of caffeine right now. I got the uh, the giant <laughs> cup of gamer stuff, so... <laughs> Oh, so let's just get this underway. If I can find some, not battle music. Yet. Our Saturday show's back. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, I don't so excited these... for all these new characters too. Yeah, they sound like so much fun. I don't know much about them, but they sound like so much fun. Yeah. I need um, to look at my map key again because I haven't committed all these town names to memory just yet. Oh, only, what? The only two places that I've committed to memory are the Lonick Wood and the Harlequin Forest, and that's just because that seems to be where everybody is freaking from. <laughs> I mean... Prime real yeah. estate. Look, I'm a druid. I kind of need to be near it. Trees. <laughs> I mean, you say um, Fey Forest, and of course we're all going to go there. Uh, Corey told me yesterday just... about how how it's like I'm how he was really excited because he seems like this is the ultimate besties group the mm -hmm. ultimate best friends group because he thinks that our characters will all fit really well together and those are all in your sleep <laughs> who's gonna ruin it all yep Zoro's gonna turn this into mean girls I oh, no. don't want to be a mean girl <laughs> it's okay Intr we introduced one hot villain and we're doomed Oh, don't worry. We're all gonna fight. Oh, don't, don't, worry. don't worry. Like, as, you know, as par for the course, I expect, like, people just to be thirsting over all NPCs that show up. Mm -hmm. I, have I made my character time. single this time! My character's single! I'm finally happy I can flirt with others! And not I feel guilty. I have a particular weakness for hot villains. You know, Strahd? Y'all ever heard of Strahd? Well, there was <laughs> well. Vincent. There was Vincent, but he was kind of... older. Which, if, if you've got a witch, not a problem for hot villains, you are I in just, the right grandpa. place. I just looked oh, at yeah. Strahd. Um, hot villains, hot NPCs. He's hot. A, is he a vampire? That's, that's, he's, that's a, he's a yeah. He is like the vampire lord. Yes, he is, baby. <laughs> he was. Yes, he is. Give me a dragonborn. That 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 man Strahd like has killed oh, me my. so many times, and I love it every time. <laughs> he, I need to play that. Strahd is a I'm villain that will dad. stab you, and you will thank him for it. Oh my! Thank you, Daddy, can I have another? <laughs> yes. <laughs> how, how many times? Okay, Please so let's me. uh let's focus on this game, not thirsting over Strahd. <laughs> there will be plenty of villains and NPCs for you to thirst over in this game. Stop making them so thirsty, then. I can't help it. <laughs> Yeah, I mentioned that anybody has any salt and pepper hair and instantly you all become unglued. We're like, oh. Now, hold on. That means he's sophisticated. How much yeah. hair, though? Rugged. <laughs> I like both. Yeah. That's so. We reached a brief introduction on the southern frontier in the first part of, uh, or I should say the second part of Withered Wastes as the group descended from the desert and beyond the uh, wall blockade of the blood hunters in order to heal the forest outside the walls and then sort of began to wander throughout the land as um they discovered that the southern frontier wasn't the horrible place that those in the north would have you believe it wasn't teeming with corrupted monsters your flesh wasn't melting off the moment you walked out into the land and breathed its air Quite the contrary, as this land is flourishing with life. Almost as if the last 200 years, the people of the southern frontier 
I began to rebuild. Still, the, the, the land and the kingdoms itself are still a shadow of its former self, but society is functioning. There are numerous towns, numerous governments, and things are just starting to get back on track as to sea trade has opened up once again as the corruption around the sea itself has lessened in areas, giving some towns the ability to have open port trade with the outside world. As we join our group here, you are on the path on one of the many roads leading to the city of Tragon, or Tregaron. I gotta really stop using names. I can't even pronounce these things. <laughs> it's already started. Brought You're to, doing great, sweetie. Yeah, <laughs> brought to this town for various reasons. Wanting to get out and about and see the world. Expand your horizons. Expand your knowledge. Or just looking for a quick handful of coin to earn. But whatever brought you here seems to... have been a fateful encounter between a group of random strangers. As all of you begin, as all of you are on the road and you're making your way up to Tregaron, you begin to wait in line as you are now standing behind numerous merchant carts and everything as they are going through one by one through the gates of Tregaron, the guards making sure that the the shipping manifests on uh, for the documentation of the carts match the goods in there. There's nothing illegal being um, smuggled into the city. Dragaren itself is an impressive city. A very large white stone wall surrounding its perimeter. Very beautifully put together uh, buildings behind. Very, very almost reminder of the beauties of the past with the way that these buildings have been made their architecture and the sounds from inside lead you to believe that this is a very happily and bustling town so as you begin to imagine what sights and everything you are to behold much like everyday life out in the wilderness chaos sort of rears its head and as you are quickly pulled from your daydreams of what wonders you'll see inside, a loud crash happens a bit ahead in the line. You see a cart go flying through the air as screams and <clears throat> confusion start to overtake the crowd. And then you hear a very loud hiss. As you can see the head of this very large snake sort of reaching up into the air. Its skin, we lost. Yeah, there they are. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. it's happening. It's happening. Put it on the bingo card. Put it on the bingo card. <laughs> <laughs> did, oh no. Did she crash or did? I think she crashed. It, yeah, it looked like a still frame. Where is the bingo crash. card? Oh yeah, we need to we need to pass those out. We may have to dip that into April. We meant to do that in March. Oops. Things happen. Sorry guys. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Rosa, <laughs> Rosa is uh writing. I want a bingo card. I know, I'm sorry. <clears throat> yep. Uh cast you I, I I've got my phone open and I I asked Cast if they crash you like yep. Yep. Well, it's not a behold role play. It's not a behold role play unless muted some... or dips. Yep. Can we, we have some with a computer issue. on fire? <laughs> yes. Actually, yes. I can do that for you. <laughs> I need, need to update some of the emos for some of the newer shows too. So I need to. I'll, I'll add that to the list. Just a computer fire. Yeah, br fine. <laughs> br yeah. Fine. Uh, yeah. So just give us a second, everyone. Uh, Cass is rebooting their computer. At least it happened now and not in the mix of things. True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. True. There's worse timings for this. 
Oh, very much so. I, I have Although to, I have to, again. we have to figure out what, um, is wrong with that, with their computer. Cause it just decides it's going to crash. We think we've, oh, you know what? I want, I wonder if an update happened and it reset what we, uh, previously turned off. Oh, possibly. I know there are recent updates. Yeah. So. Could have. Yeah. yeah. Uh, updates shit. are usually every Tuesday. So maybe yep. the last one did it. Oof. Hmm. Womp womp. Curse you Tuesdays! Yeah, they wrote down, like, we're gonna have to go through the, uh, the diagnostic log and find out what happened, but Cass wrote the time down so we can easily pinpoint it. Mm -hmm. Well, while we're waiting, I can already tell from the character names I was given and that everyone can clearly see, I can already see some of us, if not Cough Cough Rogen, mixing us up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I didn't mix, no, no I, like... I didn't mix anyone up. The camera's turned off. No, 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 we're no, talking no. about I when mean, you like call names. Story, when you call names out in the story. There, there's two that are going to be very specific, very easily mixed up. Yeah, as soon uh, as I saw Zephyr, I was like, oh. Oh, yeah. also, oh, I, we, have to, we have yeah. to wait for uh, Cast to turn the camera have two. There we go. We have to have yeah, two yeah. characters yeah. with the similar names. It's just, it's a rule. Yeah. yeah. Well, we don't win it, though. It's okay. I can't have just. I can't have Twitch up and everything else. Apparently. Yeah, that that's that's gonna. Well, eat just doesn't like Twitch. Do you have like a tablet or something to have Twitch up at least, or a phone? Yeah, phone. I I can. It was just like because I fine. wanted to have the the chat, so I just won't have yeah. the chat up, and it's uh, fine. Uh, you can chat on your phone. Yeah. Okay. But you can have um, it as chat only on your phone too. Now that. Yeah, How okay. many times will Chloe be called Callie? About as many times that I call Yuriko Rose. Um, yep. It's gonna happen. Um, yeah. yeah. Wait. But, so how? Wait. Is Zephira is going to be mixed up with who? Zenith. Uh, Zenith. Or Zenith. Zenith. We don't Zenith. have pronunciation yet on the salon. Yeah. <clears throat> Zenith. Is it two Zenith. tieflings with yeah. Z names? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh no! At the least the other tieflings. Oh, yeah. At least the other tieflings had different names. <laughs> But look, we at least uh, do this somehow. Now Without that, playing it. Now that uh Cass is back and the computer is not on fire. Hopefully. For now. Give it time. This going. You see hey. this large <laughs> creature that looks like a snake, though its skin is like this just shadowy black. Almost looking unnatural. Its body almost twitching and convulsing in the sunlight. Very soft, white, eerie light coming from its eyes. As I have two things I need to do right now. First off, I need to take you all to a map. Oh God, are we starting already? Oh Jesus. Ooh. Yeah. Oh God, we're starting already? <laughs> Oh, and the God. second thing is, is I need oh, you to God. roll for initiative. Oh, oh God. God. Here we go. I haven't even met these people. <laughs> I haven't even met these people. What is happening? Great, oh, Grizzle. No way. You hey, had us turning <laughs> out like no. Skyrim. Like, oh, so you're awake. Hey, you're oh, awake. Look, you're awake. Oh, there's a fucking dragon. Let's go. Oh, and, and so if you want to, if you want to see a, a boosted version, there's the snack. The snake. Oh, that was so close. Friend. to that. Oh, with snacks. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, you know what? I forgot to do the sound settings. Give me a second. You guys are going to see. Uh... We're starting off great. So rolling for initiative, you play, you roll D20. Yep. Or... Yep. D20, D20 plus your dexterity modifier. Yeah, Point your dexterity. Uh, which four. is two. Got it. Yeah, yeah, I... the uh, the tiebreaker uh, number after the decimal is your dexterity score. Oh, yep. Yeah, score. There we go. Not... I did not waste a 20. Thank you. I mean, is it ever wasted? Nope. Are you kidding me? I'm not good. What happened? I rolled a um, one for the snake. Yes. <laughs> I didn't roll the worst. Yay. Yeah, uh, well, we'll see a... about that with the modifiers. 
I rolled a 12, but I was looking at my initiative and it's a 1, but then I looked at my dexterity modifier and it's a 2. What? Hold on. Interesting. So the character sheet broke. Yeah. Let's see here. Sarah, I'll fix it. Yeah, so so just add, add two to it then. Add two to it then. It looks Alrighty. like the roll 20 sheet may be messed up. Okay. Yeah, you. So, yeah, your decks, you only have. Uh, yeah, you only have a one so far. Okay. So it's the. So, yeah, d20 plus one, and then your modifier is. Hmm. Uh, or the tiebreaker is 12. Yeah. Oh no, that's what? not that's not the, the initiative I wanted to put. That's a big initiative. <laughs> I'm Confucian. I am Confucian. Your deck score is twelve, right? Yeah, so it's just plus one to the initiative. So you just have a plus yeah. one. My deck score is ten, and then I have it like brings no, it up to twelve. It is t- yeah. You have the plus two, so yeah. you have twelve. Yeah. Yeah, which is a plus so one. You have, you have so it's plus one. So you yeah. have um uh so it's your D twenty plus one, uh, but your tiebreaker is twelve, which is your overall deck score. So you wanna add one point one to you. Okay. What? So I have a so my initiative was thirteen if I rolled a twelve? Yes. Yes. Okay. So yeah, and then in the initiative thing you put thirteen point twelve. Yep. That way, if anybody has a 13, whoever has the uh, higher point number would go first. Okay. Go first. And then yeah. just waiting on Chloe. Jesus. Okay, weirds. <laughs> I rolled a 23. Um, yeah. So before we get in, before you go into your round why don't you go ahead and describe what Danielle looks like oh okay so uh not sure how robotic i sound right now because you were really robotic for me just a moment ago who me oh you're fine right now okay okay yeah. it's gone okay it's gone um so uh at the front of the caravan near the gate you see a uh, a red-headed lass standing probably about five feet tall. Javelins and a handle sticking out from her shoulder as she calls out uh, <clears throat> she calls out to get a militia! Caravan under attack! And she runs forth Grabbing, oh, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> Drawing on the map. Drawing on the map. Uh, she Weird's going draws... to the John Madden Telestrator here. <laughs> she uh, she motions forward, and she grabs two weapons. Uh, the first you notice is a javelin off her back, and the other being a strangely strangely shaped sword as she shucks the javelin at this snake. So... Let's see here. What did I just do with it? There we go. Uh, That is going to be a 16 to hit. A 16 to hit? That will hit. All right. Uh, So as the javelin goes flying for... uh, That's going to be... Eight damage. Eight damage. Uh, she is then going to... And you notice when you chuck this javelin and it flies and it, like, it embeds itself, or it, like, makes contact with the snake, it doesn't embed itself all the way. It sort of mm. pierces and then just, like, sort of just falls loosely out of its skin. You could see, you could see, the, like, a cut that, that's been made on it, but it doesn't seem like the damage has been taken all the way. Mm. Tough bastard. Over here, you little shit. And she is going to rage. Okay. Laughing maniacally. Come on, then. (laughs) 
as that is her turn. Okay. So you notice that um, a little south ways of you is a a red-headed half-elven woman dressed in these very long, like, brownish robes with various gears and, like, broken timepieces almost, like, sewn into the robe itself. And she's going to just raise up a hand as you see just a... a just a ball of light form as he shoots a guiding bolt towards the snake. And completely misses. Okay, this is how it's going to go for me tonight. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no. Gotta uh, hit first. I mean, that, that tracks for how guiding bolt usually works. Yep. <laughs> guiding bolt, great spell, does a great damage, it just never hits. Um, And as the uh, the beam goes wide, the armored uh, individual uh, next to this uh, cleric rushes forward with a uh, two-handed axe in hand and just charges straight for the snake. Use the um, Amy just to cleave into it. Hmm. It's gonna be one of those days. <laughs> oh, I no. have yet to roll above a ten. Oh, oh no! Did they Is that the dice to us about? No, what? they didn't. Oh boy! Like they swing, and it looks like they're just caught. Like they just go a little flat foot at the moment, and just flat blade the uh, the body of the snake, dealing no damage. Uh, Mals. Uh, oh, is no. your character Zenith or Zenith? Zenith. Zenith. Like Jen. So you could call her Zen when you get to know uh, her better. Okay. Uh, um, can yeah. you describe for everyone what Zenith looks like? Um, the first word probably people think of when they see Zenith is like disheveled, um, kind of scatterbrained, maybe a little oh, like this. Um, she's a tiefling, um, wizard, uh, with like messy kind of white short hair that always seems to fall in front of her face she's a little bit on the sh like medium size height i guess um and yeah i guess that is zenith and um i have a question if i look at this snake am i kind of able to see like why it looks like that you know what <sighs> Given your background, what? I will let you do a history check. Oh, and that's a D20. Yep, D20 plus your history skill. Fucking don't okay, here we go. Oh, no. Okay. Um. Hold on. We're starting off great. Yes, yes. <laughs> we oh, are. I have a plus yeah. five to history. I rolled a four, so I have a nine. Uh... It, something about it seems familiar, but just given the, just the startling action of this thing just randomly appearing out of nowhere, you're kind of caught off guard and you can't at the moment tell exactly what this thing is. Okay. Then I guess I will shoot at it with magic missile, just because I'm not super confident with my aim right now, because I'm a little, you know... Yep, magic in a back. Yep, and magic missile just instantly hits. That's nice. <laughs> so um, when everybody's so... rolling low, auto hit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, what do I roll for? The target's base AC becomes thirteen plus its dexterity modifier. Okay, but what do I roll for damage then? Or is magic missile a a, a roll attack in five E? I thought nope. it was. It is an auto. Um, hit. the oh. the damage is. A dart deals 1d4 plus 1 force yeah. damage. Okay. Yeah, so it's 1d4 one, one plus... 1. Um, four. Yeah, for every dart that fires. And Magic Missile does, what, 3? Three? 3 at three level darts. 1. Yeah. yeah. 3 di darts, yeah. So, okay, yeah, you, I get... So technically be 3d4 three four plus 3. Yeah. Okay, I got 2d4 in my hand right now. That's a 3 and a 2. 5. And then a 4. 
So that's a nine plus three. That's 12. Nice. Okay. Let's go. Magic Missile's great. I love that. Mm -hmm. Me too. And as the Magic Missiles just rip from your hand, you notice as they slam into the snake that it definitely registered the impact of the spell fully. Um, um, As its hide seems to be a little bit armored against uh, melee attacks, magic seems to work perfectly fine against this thing. It's like, ouchies. I need kissies. (laughs) (laughs) Give me a hug. (laughs) Give me a hug. Um, And I guess that'll be if... Uh, um, Do you want to move? Maybe I'll take like a... Step back or two, like two spot. How do I move? Uh, I just go like this. Yep, there you go. Feet for you. Each square is five feet. Okay, I'll just move back a little bit because I am so squishy. Wizard, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Unless I'm still very like, oh god, <laughs> like no. So, cool. That's my turn. Okay, and uh, Jinx. I will be one second. I'm so sorry. All good. So. uh Jinx is about uh, two and a half foot tall, the pack, um, which is our custom race, the bat people. Uh, looks very similar to a pallid bat. Uh, she's kind of got a lot of white features with the dark blue features on her, but the like the wing, the, the skin between the membranes between her wing, for her wings and everything are black, and she kind of has dark blue and a little bit of purplish fur on her. Um, but she will take... She kind of see the snake pop up and go... <laughs> You gotta startle and jump, um, but take a step forward in the process because I need to be a little bit closer. Um, and I'm gonna cast Witch Bolt on it. Um, so I need to make a spell attack. Yes, you do. Well, that's a good. So, oh, that's gonna be a 22 to hit. A 22 will hit. Okay. Would so be I'll heroes. Hit. Raid. Uh, thank you for the raid. That name threw me off because of the uh, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> that threw me off too. I'm like, are we raiding ourselves ourselves <laughs> from the future? Because that's our sh- one of our show names. Funny <laughs> it enough, is. So, hi. <laughs> Welcome on in, raiders. That that was a brain that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? That just made me snap to attention when you said would be heroes. I was like, uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> Um, so it's yes, time of the month, right? uh, your, your witch bolt will attack though. Right, so I need you to also roll a D 20. Cause this is a spell of level one or higher. Okay. Um, my rolling off, are we using the books? Um, yes, chart? yes. The, okay. We will be using the books chart because this is, this is set. I forgot to bring it up. Um, you, you only have to roll a d20, and then if it's a one, then the wild magic kicks off. Oh, okay. So I got an 18. Yeah, it's super easy. It's just that one stuff happens. Okay. Then you roll so I got an 18. I rolled a 12 on my damage. So nice. I damage that for lightning damage. Real lightning. Um, And it kind of stays in a, almost an arc between us, but it kind of zaps the thing as I maintain concentration on it. Okay. And that's going to be my turn, because I have to stay within 30 feet of this thing. Alrighty. Uh, Hide behind whoever's in front of me. <laughs> I, bl- I believe that is Zephira who you're behind right now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you, you have a little little bat person hiding behind your legs. Vanica. Okay, that's fine. Oh, it's my turn already. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. So Vanica... Um, very much has like that green and brownish, like almost bark skin, but covered in, um, uh, it almost looks like a, a thin layer of moss around her. Uh, she does look like she has, uh, kind of vines and, uh, almost like tree branches wrapping up her entire body. Think, uh, a little bit of Lady of the Forest from Dragon Age, um, that kind of pattern going up, uh, it actually fills down her hands where it looks like she's got very thick. Um, almost kind of like treant-like hands uh, that are just thick with with bark and long fingernails. Um, her hair is kind of like waft off to the side, almost like she had the side shave look, but of course it's all like bark and leaves and everything. Um, but she does have like tints of like fuchsia and purple kind of scattered on her. Um, 
and and I would like to say she looks a little thick because I had to for armor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> and she she thought she recognized someone was getting ready to run up to them um, before this thing happened, and she was like, "Oh, oh, that no, this isn't good. No, um, yeah, uh, she's gonna get a little bit closer. Oh, there's a cart in the way. Oh goodness." Part in the way, and um, she's gonna uh, pull out a rapier, uh, but extend her other hand as she's gonna cast her own guiding bolt. Okay. Um, as uh, oh god, where's my spells? There we go, guiding bolt. Oh, my modifier's good. Okay, let's see if mine can go off. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh that's a twenty-two to hit. That'll hit. Okay, there's oh goodness, four d6. We're using all four of my d6s off the bat. All right. Uh, let's see here. Ten, uh, that is sixteen Whew. radiant damage. Nice. Uh, new character who does this do anything? Okay, yeah. So it it lights up. You actually see when when she hits it. Um, it almost looks like these glowing flowers almost blossom from it to illuminate that glow that Guiding Bolt gives off. Uh, which means that everyone's attacks have advantage on it. Is it everyone's or just the next uh, attack? Uh, the it? next, sorry, a next attack roll. Mm. Uh, against this target before the end of my next turn has advantage. Yes, that's it. Again, new character who dis. <laughs> new character, and definitely new character who dis. Okay. Uh, Barely ever played a cleric, so here we go. <laughs> Chloe. Uh, so Chloe is um, about a five foot seven, fairly lithe looking individual. Um, you can't see too much of their, their face at the moment because they've got a, a hood pulled up and, and over their head. But on close inspection, you can probably see movement underneath the hood. N not like natural hair movement, like there's there's a creature or something under there, kind of wriggling around. Um, and looking at the, the skin on her hands and a little bit of her face that you can see, it's kind of speckled with scales, uh, greenish tinged scales. Um, and anytime she she opens her mouth, you can see pointed teeth in there as, as well. Um, she seems fairly reclusive in her her actions, although at the moment she is equally as surprised to see the snake as she is to see this cleric that just ran up to the snake. Uh, both are very surprising to her at the moment, um, and. When you, you catch a glimpse of her eyes, they are uh, a very bright yellow, and the the whites of her eyes as well are, are tinged yellow rather than just the, the white you would expect them to be. A very unusual looking individual. And, Got this. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. Gets us all eventually. Um, <laughs> oh, God. She uh, she's gonna take a step back here, and um, she's gonna begin to to mutter something underneath her her breath. And as she does, there are several like hissing sounds join joining her voice from underneath that hood. And there's a, a brief flash of many eyes coming from underneath the hood as she casts dissonant whispers on this thing so i need the snake to make a wisdom saving throw the snake to make a wisdom saving throw is it just First a bunch of hissing roll. is it just a bunch of hissing yep. coming from underneath uh that's yep. gonna be a wisdom saving throw of 12. 12 it's going to fail Ooh. it will take some damage here it's going to take nine psychic damage oof and it must immediately use its reaction to move as far away from me as its speed allows. Is this a fear effect? 
It is not. It is just an effect of the spell. It just forces it to move is all. Yep. It can it can move back. It just forces it to move is, yeah. is the only thing. It, it, it's basically an effect that makes it use its reaction. Okay. So like it's got to move its it's got to move its full thing right now. Yeah. I have a question though because it is a force movement, do we still get opportunity of attack though? No. No. Yeah. No. Okay. Can I just say that um when Fox's character kind of backs up to around where I am, like Zenith kind of goes like, a, "Oh, hey. Like, a, oh, what is this?" And then she sees, like, so many eyes under the hood and sharp teeth and yellow eyes. She's like... <laughs> like <laughs> oh. Crazy day, bro. Oh. oh. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, and, and, and you know what? In in <laughs> response to, to that, you are going to get a, a surprised hiss in your direction. Um, but you are going to get a bardic inspiration from that. What? Okay, let's go. Uh, so you, you have a, a, a D6 that you can add to basically any roll of your choice. Okay, is there somewhere I can maybe write that? Oh. Uh, off to the side, because it's it's a temporary effect. Yeah, okay. yeah it's um, a, a one-time use thing, uh, and it lasts for 10 minutes, so... If anything, in the, like, for where it says, like, core, bio, and spells, you could just, like, stick it in one of the bio just for a place to type. Sure. I will say, <laughs> as the creature moves back, it's going to snap the electrical arc that's going between Jinx and it, as that spell will dissipate. Okay. As it moved outside of the spell range. Sorry, I didn't expect it to fail. It's, see, it's uh, okay. Zephira. I have more things I can do. So what does Zephira uh, look like? So, <laughs> uh, she is about six feet tall. Uh, she is a tiefling, but like, so she has pinkish red skin with, she has horns going. Oh my God. <laughs> Adjust the camera. <laughs> Just she has horns coming up here, but then in addition, she has like antlers coming around the side, almost kind of like a crown. Um, Her hair is uh like a like a dark purple almost black and it's all like braided to like get out of the way and has like little flowers stuck in it um so she's <laughs> she she is not surprised that this small creature ran up behind her because she's used to like being the tallest one uh given not just the the height but the antlers give her like an additional bit. I have, I do have a question though. Ah. Can I, because she's a, because a little bat creature is only about two and a half feet. Can I like kind of not necessarily carry her or if that would count as an action just to like get in, in the direction of the snake. Like to like, where you're putting yourself between you and the uh, well, bat like, creature. I kind of want to move. Like I just wants want to, to pick up the bat creature. Bat creature uppies. Uppies. <laughs> Are you the chemic of this? Of this um, <laughs> Okay. So <laughs> so you're trying. You're giving. You're giving this bat creature uppies. Is what you're saying? Yeah, because I want to fireball at the snake. Uh huh. But I know that there's a cart and people in the way. <laughs> So if any, you know, if she wants to like climb up and like hold on to the horn <laughs> or antlers, she can. <laughs> I would assume. Um. Pretty sure I could perch on them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say if you if you are going to give the bat creature uppies, it's going to be an action because you do have mm. to pick her up and put you put her on your shoulders. Or I, I, or I, I you can just. Me a firebolt at the thing that's why Kevin boops and walks away <laughs> no uppies no time for uppies <laughs> we will work something out <laughs> in the future but uh I'm, I'm seeing a nice place to perch because i got good feet <laughs> perching so 
Let's see. I would like to fire bolt. Uh, let's see. Range 120 feet. I assume I can hit it <laughs> at this range. Yeah. Uh, that's that'll be fine. Um, yeah. So D20 plus uh, plus my intelligence plus your your spell attack modifier, which is I believe six. If you go um, into spells, so it's gonna be our intelligence plus your proficiency yeah. bonus. So it's six, yeah. Six, okay. D twenty plus six. How do I do that? That measuring thing that you guys are doing, where you're uh, measuring. Oh, the left is um, the ruler, which is second the the bottom. Oh, I see. The What'd you get? Yeah. Natural twenty. Very my nice. Brain, my brain went, what's the Kraken symbol mean? <laughs> nat 20, girl! Okay, nat first nat roll of the night, you get a you get a nat 20. Okay, so since you, love it. Since you are so Babby level it. ones, Brutal Critical is not in effect just yet. So, Cass, what you're going to do is you're going to roll a d10, and then you're going to roll a d10 again. And you're going to total oh, up the two numbers. Because I rolled a nat 20, can I provide the uppies? No, you cannot provide Aww. the uppies. Okay. But reduce damage for uppies. When's brutal critical? It's level five or level six? five. Level Wait, five is when a... brutal sets in. That's not a d10. <laughs> Did you roll d8s? I do that all the time. I rolled a d12 because I got a 12. <laughs> I was like, that's not it. Nope. <laughs> oh, God. This is why I have my dice out of my box. I, <laughs> I, I picked this out because I knew I had everything planned. But that's the problem. Plants don't survive <laughs> contact with the enemy. My enemy being my mind. All right. <laughs> my own worst enemy. So. Okay, three. Three. Two. Two. So a total of five damage. Yeah. Well. I mean, that's not bad for level one. Uh, that's not. This poor thing didn't even get to make that. an action because I rolled a <laughs> one on initiative. Uh, but <laughs> Cass, as Zenith <laughs> pelts this thing with a critical, uh, a you critical firebolt. Um, you how do you want to do this? <laughs> so I just want to say you called me Zenith. So if you want, you can call my I, character. Fira. I said Cass. No, you call. You said when Zenith hit. A oh, yeah. you're doing look, it already. Look, Started. I'm gonna fuck your names up. Uh, it, it, you play D and D with me long enough. One I can't us, remember this name. One of yeah. us has to be the favorite Z name. I literally just, have the yeah. basic name. Yeah, so you could call me Fira. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> or you could call me Zen. Yeah, we we need to make our names a little bit less similar. Um, one of us okay. has to change, <laughs> and it's not me. <laughs> it's not going to we both wore, wore the same name. <laughs> um, what are you doing here? Okay. Um, fine. I didn't so, want to waste my ammo anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, um. Yeah, I see the small bat creature, and I'm like, "Oh, hello there." Uh, you know, get get behind me, like stay stay behind me. Um, and then I just, I'm kind of like, like everyone, watch out, because <laughs> I, as much as I do like like fire, it's still as much as I do like uh, casting spells and stuff. I'm more. Like, you know, I'm an artificer, so it's more like I I more transform things into other things. I don't necessarily I'm not used to shooting mm -hmm. magic at things. So mm -hmm. I'm like, everyone watch out. Let's I hope that I can do this. And I just kinda yeet <laughs> the firebolt at it. And, and I go ahead. So uh is there anything else you wanted to add? Um so it's it it just describes it as a ranged spell attack, a yep. moat of fire. So that is that like a it's it's just like, like a ball it's just like a little ball little bolt of fire that you throw at things. K. 
can it okay so it hisses at me and it goes down the throat Perfect. It goes, and it eats the, yep. the fire and then it's like oh no and then yeah and call, calling back to like what your grandmother had taught you about controlling magic you summon the fire in your hand hope for the best and you just bullseye down the thing's throat as you see kind of like a wick of flame sort of like pop, like pop out of its mouth as the entire body kind of just seizes so up smoke. for a moment and begins to fall down and as it does you, be, you begin to see that it sort of starts to dematerialize into just this like purplish black powder as Uh-oh. the ground underneath it slowly becomes corrupted oh no all right everybody stand back thank you for your help that there as the snake sort of begins to wind down Danielle, you notice the rest of like the militia that you called for starts to like uh appear on the scene um mm-hmm. like taking ready stances but n- noticing that the battle is already done where are you you snooze you lose i don't actually say that just <laughs> <laughs> other character you say uh, could um could i maybe move a little closer to like oh yeah we're we're out of combat so you don't have to like move yourself on the map or anything so you can like this is like free movement free form so if like you want to go anywhere or talk to anyone you can. i think i'd like to move up right behind this very intimidatingly strong red-haired fighter here or um barbarian i suppose right or yeah and i kind of looking from a distance to kind of like study this it's like a corpse right it uh, it didn't anymore. leave a body it's now just a pile of ash and like sorry you would know exactly what is on the ground now being somebody who's like studied this at the academy and everything that there's now just a small patch of corrupted earth where this snake fell and you could see that there's a, a like almost a jagged metallic shard kind of sticking out of like a, a mound of this dust. Can I grab it? Um, or is that you can most can certainly oh, try to grab it whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, can i can i maybe whoa, 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 whoa. can i study it first to see like is this gonna blow my hand off like i don't you could do that recommend... you can give me either an arcana check or a history check Ooh, okay um i have a plus five to arcana so i'll do that <laughs> um queen latifah give me strength um um i got a i got a ton daniel creamer thank you for that extra life donation hey yo let's go daniel give me a second here because i need to see uh oh right if there was any oh right. oh there it goes oops double tapped oh, yeah it's sorry yeah sorry <laughs> Hooray. 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 I need to. Hooray. There it is. Oh, okay. My foot's falling asleep. So, Wait, Daniel, um, as you donated $30, as you see, there is a, a little list of things that popped up here. Um, Daniel's from my community. Oh, hey. right on. Aww. Well, well at least, yeah. Yeah, so Daniel, you have thirty dollars to go through uh this uh little side list here of incentives for extra life. Um so see with that you can give an auto success to any player or the DM if you're feeling evil. Um or you can give 
uh, thirty dollars worth of uh, health potions to players. Give them all to me. Don't give it to Zoro because Zoro won't use them. Give all to me. <laughs> I use them for <laughs> boss <laughs> battles. Okay, I hoard them. Daniel, or... wouldn't it be amazing if I, Daniel, wouldn't it be amazing if my character, I'm Zena, if I got that Arcana check, like, right, and I didn't get a friggin' ten? Consider this. <laughs> Consider you're from my community. Riddle me this, Batman. Riddle me this, Batman. There's a shiny right in front of the wizard. It might be good for the wizard to have an auto success. The guard Sublimal. is confiscated. Yeah, Mia. Daniel, where Listen, are you? Listen, I'm still alive and have most of my limbs. I don't Bless. know. The... the one very baked potato. Auto success to the DM and two health potions to Zenith. It would technically be one. Because it was, it was yeah. $30, right? $30. Yes. Yeah. You should play, give play, auto play, success yeah. to me. Auto success to the DM. I appreciate this. Ah. Daniel. Uh, I would have expected nothing less, to be honest, Daniel. I put meant to be you know, there's not that. many people give it to the DM, so this is kind of fun. Yeah. yeah. Right, now, well, I got a, I got a 10. You got a 10. Yes. Um, you're not... You're not entirely sure what this can be, but... Getting closer to it to like inspect it, you feel this very uncomfortable heat emanating off of it. You get a feeling that maybe you shouldn't touch this with bare hands. This... I've got a pair of gloves in my pocket. You can, can I pull them on like a sign? To yes, like... you can. <laughs> pop, pop. Get your rest, As the, the the rest of you j- see over. see this. God damn it! This tiefling <laughs> wizard. <laughs> walking over to the corpse um or this dusted corpse of this creature looking at the metal shards sticking out of it and just pulling out a pair of gloves looking like they're gonna go to pick it up Mm -hmm. Uh, at this point the redheaded lass kind of looks over sees you doing that and is like i'm not your mother but if you pick that up you're not coming back in town for a little bit uh being looked at oh um if it, um, hello, if it makes you feel any better, I study this, like, pretty exclusively. I have worked with this stuff before. You work with the corruption magic. Well, we're, um, we're actually trying to find a way to, um, make it not so corrupted, but it would, uh, I understand completely that we need safety regulations. Um, is there right. Right. something, is there something that would put your mind at ease or maybe we could come if, to if all i'm saying is, is i'm not your mother and if you do decide to pick it up you have to stay outside of town for a little bit how long's a little bit as long as you're holding it as long as i'm oh right what if i pick it up and i put it back down no because i know how that works because you put it... it down in a bag and then well, no 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 it's all good and well <laughs> I think you might think it's that like I'm a lot. Us. I think you might think that I'm a lot trickier than I actually am. I promise you, I'm not. I just, I, um, I understand. Let's just say I've spent enough time with the Fae to know. Oh, well, I'm a, I'm a tiefling. I'm not a Fae. Um, are you sure? Uh, yeah. At this I'm point, my sure. character will yeah, hear I, this and, at least and I kind think of so. <laughs> peek around the corner, going like, and you, you can tell this... she's joking. She's joking. Yeah. But she's just trying to like calm everything down. And I'm I'm very oblivious. Oh, I don't so, think so. I don't think oh, I'm okay. Uh, um <laughs> so yes. Zora, what were you saying? I was gonna say hearing this conversation, uh, my character will kind of uh very shyly kind of walk up going like Did did someone say they're an expert in corruption? I'd like to think so. Yes, I'm <laughs> I come from an academy of wizarding where we study the corruption very in depth. Um, it is kind of my life's work. Um, my name is Zenith. There's a place where they study this? Well, I mean, we've been dedicating a lot of our time to it because it's a problem. Uh, it seems that you two seem to have something going on here. I'm going to go back to my post. So I... remember what I said. 
And, and I hear you loud and clear, and I, I thank you for your duty. Can I put, like, am I able to detect magic on this? Like, glean anything from it? Um, or would that have been the Arcana check? That was, like, if you're if you're doing a once-over on it, that would have been the Arcana check. If oh, you geez. have the spell Detect Magic, though, you can cast I that. I do have the spell Detect Magic. I'm like, would it make you feel... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Just to put your mind at ease, I will put Detect Magic on that thing. I just kind magic. of... Oh, I've already walked off. Oh, yes. Uh, I just really I... need people to like me. <laughs> can I go up as well? Um, because I I see that people are crowding, mm -hmm. and I'm like, um, and I and I see that the that's little bad. shard, can yeah, I, the shard. Can I do an Arcana check? Um, you it? can. As um, kinda, or either Arcana or Investigation, just to see. You can do either or. Yeah. Uh, Arcana will tell you something, and our Investigation will tell you something different. Uh, Zenith, you're casting. I um, detect, detect magic. magic. Okay. Oh wait, Zenith. I was gonna say you. You had the Bardic Inspiration. You could. You could use that. But oh, on your roll, yes. Yeah. On, oh, on your roll. You can use the Bardic Inspiration for... Am I able to retcon that, or is that... You like know what? Like... I will let you retcon it, because oh this, because God. everybody is... like so, Episode like, one? Yeah, episode Everybody's one, a new character who this, I will let you recon it and add the D4 <laughs> to Your that. Your support means so D6. much. So that's a oh, D6. D6. Yep. Um, or the F is my D6. Oh, yeah, it's just a regular die. Okay. This really doesn't one. stop you from trying to pick <laughs> it up, <Yeah>. but... <laughs> I got a plus four to that, so that was fourteen. Yeah, fourteen, uh, 14. total. A fourteen total. That's better. Um, with an Arcana check, um, you know that the heat that's coming off of this thing is almost radioactive. Okay. Like even if even if those gloves that you put on, if you were to touch this thing, it would probably burn through your gloves. At the academy, <laughs> at the academy, any handling of these shards that you, like people have brought back have to be used with special specially made gloves so it doesn't burn through them okay um so um what'd cool. you get what'd you get for your role uh, oh, i was gonna do you, ask are, if i could do an investigation instead of our you can do an investigation yes you can uh so rolled an 18 plus uh my investigation I, is six i can't read your face because your face goes completely like flat and i think you roll a one and you're like i rolled an 18. i'm doing math <laughs> that's your math face <laughs> your, your poker face, face is too good your poker it's face is too face. good uh for a it's 24. Like, Matt 20. <laughs> so, <Plus half. laughs> so we're about the numbers. <laughs> with a 24, this shard almost looks like it belongs to like a piece of a door. As you can see that like along one of like the ridges of this uh metal shard is a hinge. Did you get inside creature? Are you part of the creature? And then I just kind of end up like my brain just starts going, and I end up like a beautiful mind, kind of muttering going. to myself. Yeah, it's like the math. I'm <laughs> just like the snake I... ate, and then I, I come to the conclusion: the snake ate a door. I mean, possible. that's the only thing. The snake is either part of a door, or it. Ate a door. Sorry, I'm Sephira. How are you? Who are you? Hi. She's Me? not very good at people uh, with people. <laughs> Zero social skills. No, this is, <laughs> this is the Spider Man. This is the Spider Man meme where we're both pointing at each other because I'm also not great. <laughs> and we're both tieflings. And yeah. starts with starts. Oh no! Scene. The entire group is socially <laughs> awkward. Oh um, my god, I think we are. Oh, were, no. you, were you talking to me, actually, though? Like, I um, for realsies? Yeah, I think so. Okay. <laughs> okay, hang on, let me move my... Like, whatever. Yeah, you don't have to move on the map. I don't have the uh, map on the oh, screen anymore. okay. You're okay. Fine. This is for me, Rogan. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, you guys can do whatever you want thematically. It's, it's just... in our brain thing. Yes. It's in the palace. Um, brain palace. <laughs> I don't notice um, Zafira talking to herself because I'm just like, 
this magic what on earth and so i stand up and i remove and i remove my gloves and i go yeah i've come to the conclusion that picking this up would be a very bad idea so don't, don't do it did you oh. still want to cast detect magic on it uh yes i do just okay. from a nice safe distance okay for, so um, from a nice safe distance to where you're not going to be melted um yeah. casting detect magic there is definitely magic residue on the shard um Thank you. entropy magic to be specific i don't want to be that person to go onto dictionary.com and type in entropy can you quick remind me what entropy means uh in this sense of like in this sense in the world entropy is almost chaos magic Ooh. it's a chaotic energy yeah okay See, chaotic unstable would've... magic because my mind went to atrophy like when that lady sat on the toilet for too long and her legs atrophied i'm like oh necrotic but no, no thank you entropy <laughs> <laughs> okay oh you know just that's right up jinx's alley right there <laughs> magic. um so yes i'm of the mind picking this up bad idea it seems there's a lot of concentrated um chaos magic associated with this which can be very dangerous um to your health also what's your name again uh zephira zephira i'm zenith it's nice to meet you nice to meet you um can you glean anything from this at all um so the shard is part of a door because you can see and i'm just like pointing to the shard but you can't it's like there's a hinge on it so i don't know where the shard i don't know what part the shard was a part of the snake i don't know if it was in the stomach or if it was like inside the heart or like part of the beam but so that's why either the door became a snake or i think we would have to conclude that the snake ate a door the snake ate a door Yes, how odd. And it's a magic door, or a, either a magic door, or a door to a magical thing. What? Huh. If we it's like we were a nerds on the Monday to... show. <laughs> <laughs> what Why if the door snake... was like a portal to another Why place? Why does a snake eat a door? Don't they usually eat frogs? Anything else? <laughs> no, uh, sna snakes eat mice. They do. My bad. Um, interesting. I mean, I suppose they could. Eat it. <laughs> My character at this point is confused and just walking. <laughs> okay. Um, if anybody else wants to, while well, we're kind of mulling over this, if anybody else wants to do two, their, two nerds, like uh, two wizards, one. nerding it out over theories on how snakes one, ate a door, <laughs> but one has to come to the conclusion. Oh, but I think that it's just like it's oh my god, part of a door. Or it maybe it burst through the door and it got stuck, but there was Socrates no once said <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. And then I'm like, who's Socrates? I'm, I'm homeschooled. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else can take... never told me about Socrates. Anybody else can take it away. <laughs> <laughs> and as the two nerds are talking about snakes eating doors and stuff like that, uh Daniel, as you return to your post, you notice that the um the half -el elven uh cleric and the um individual in like the plate mail sort of walk up to where this dust like this dust snake is at and the individual in the plate just reaches over and just picks up the shard and that's your mother okay and as as it does, you don't see them like disintegrate or anything. As you, you notice, this doing this? you knife? notice that the uh, the, like the um, gauntlet on the hand turns a bit red, but that's about it. Mm, yeah, they've probably got something that actually protects them from that. Since I cast detect magic, would that also pick up his gloves? Yes, and there is a. A bit of restoration magic on these gloves, almost as if it's like counteracting the effects of the entropy. That's fascinating. As he, as the um, ar ar the armored individual turns to the cleric, and she opens up a bag, and he just drops 
the um the shard in and she niches it shut and just puts it back on her hip. Um, do I do I know who those two specifically are, or at least the knight, or at least where they are coming from? Um, you can give me a history check. History check. All right. Any of you here can give me a history check if you've ever been out in the world itself. Uh, that would be a total of a twenty-one. I'll do one. What is that? I got an eleven. Plus a five. Okay, so 16. Mm -hmm. I rolled a seven. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Look, my out in the world experience is going from hometown to here. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> Fox, you said that like Charlie Brown, where he's like, I got a rock. I got a rock. <laughs> All right. But uh, yeah, so both. Uh, both Zenith and Daniel, um, you don't know specifically who these people are, but given the way that the suit of armor work, uh, looks and the robes that the um, cleric is wearing, they look to be from the Church of the Mechanicus, which is a new, like almost a newly formed sect that just has popped up who have been trying to bring in a bring in people in worship of a something they're just calling the machine god out of character rojan why are you doing this to us because <laughs> i've heard that one before because a certain individual reminded me that the machine god was a thing that we brought up in campaign one I had fair to know, enough okay i had to know fair enough and I'm like, you know right. what? I haven't done anything with that since I created it. So let's go ahead. And all right. I will say that Zenith is not oh. the most confrontational. So she'd probably be like, oh, that's weird. But I don't want to cause a scene. As um, she sort of I, niches that bag closed, you notice that the chest of the armor begins to open up as. The, the the knees begin to like buckle and shrink down as a little step ladder, ladder comes out as a gnome walks out of the chest of this armor. And as they make footfall, you could see that they're probably about three feet tall. They've got just like these wild, like multicolored twin streak braids over their shoulder. And the, the, the suit of armor just sort of breaks down into like a small like suitcase as they reach over and just pick it up. Zephira is mesmerized by this because she, she's, she loves the whole like things turning into other things. And like, I was like, how did the gears and everything, was that magic or was that done physically? As the gnome looks over to you. Yes. Technically a little of A and B. It's a combination of magic and metallurgy and making sure all the gears fit right so um, it doesn't crush you. So it is so interesting. You have to tell me more at, 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 at some point. I, I don't believe that this is the right time, but, you know, it's a suit of armor turning into, like, it's just strictly a suit of armor turning into a suitcase is, like, the coolest <laughs> thing, like, one of the coolest things that she's ever seen. Where are you, can I ask, where are you taking that shard? Uh, and the uh, health, the half elven, elven woman walks towards we will be taking this shard um, back to our church for investigation as these metal shards seem to be coherent, not coherent, but common with the creatures that are in the corrupted lands. We aim to understand them more and maybe find a way to heal the metal. Oh. 
It's a door. And the, the gnome sort of looks at you. Technically part not incorrect. It's uh, part, it's part of, of a door. A, it's part of a door. So if you, so you're saying that you have more of these shards. Very few, but we do have shards back in our... Are you going to try to put them back together? Are they, are there other doors? Is this a Monsters, Inc. situation? I was just about to type that. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. No, this is not Monsters, Inc. <laughs> as they... as What's that thing back where it came from, Marcel? Help me. <laughs> <laughs> as um, the gnome shakes their head, it's like, it, they're not all a part of the same thing. And the various shards, some look come from walls and floors and others come from doors. It's just any of these corrupted beings that we've come across, we've always found these shards. Can I do an insight check? Yeah, you most certainly can. Yep. All righty. My, uh -oh. my insight's <laughs> not amazing. Uh, so, but I... I, I would also like know. to do that after you're done. Okay, I got a plus zero. Queen Latifah. Yeah, I got a 16. 16. I have a, I have a yeah. plus one, I got a four. So I am... Yeah. <laughs> no sense of self-preservation. No sense of people being bad. That has been my only high roll this whole game. <laughs> it doesn't... You don't seem to catch any sort of dishonesty in what they're saying. It seems like the, the way that they're saying it is with enough confidence that they believe it to be true. Did it detect any malice? No. That's good. All right. Well, I can't really lay claim to it, so and I can't get into the city with it, so how about it? So oh, is... oh, where uh, where are my matters? Um, it is a pleasure to meet you. I am Fehana Springwander, a paladin of the Cog. I am, I'm Zenith. I hail from, um, Silverdeep, and, um, it's nice to meet you, too. One second, I'm trying to pull up my bio. I forgot what my school is called. <laughs> it's okay. Corey, what was the, uh, forest that I'm from? Uh, you Not are the from the, uh, Lock and Wood. Me, too! Lock in wood. L O C C A N something. Uh, uh, what was my academy called? Rant. Um. Rent. Sarah. Rent Sarah. Yeah. S E R R A. Thank you. I hail from the um Rent Sarah Academy of Wizardry, and we've been studying. Well, my former professor and I were studying corruption magic for a very long time just to kind of understand it better and i've never seen a sh oh, well i've never seen a shard like this in person so at least not this close oh you come from the wizards institute yes ah oh, competitors it seems as we seem we seem to be uh in competition for knowledge and understanding of these Whoa. corrupted lands and the things in between them does it really have to be competition sometimes we can work together sometimes not all the time though um remind me where you are from where we are from yeah where's your church uh here and there to and fro. Not in one place at all times. At the moment, it's uh, up north in the, uh, in the quarry as we are doing a, uh, an excavation project. That's where myself and my companion here are headed. What are you ex excavating? Oh, you see, that is uh, official church business. Uh, I'm afraid I cannot tell you. Okay. 
Well, how soon do you have to head out? I wouldn't mind picking your brains about what you found, and maybe we could pool our knowledge base a bit. Give me a sec. Sure. I'm trying to write something down, my hand keeps cramping on me. <laughs> you have a business card or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, we are planning on staying in town for the night, if... Uh... You wish to exchange information and knowledge, you know, I would never say no to that. Is there perhaps a tavern or somewhere? We could... Your your guess is as good as mine. I haven't been here in quite some time. Um, I would I would expect we could probably inquire inside for a place of refreshment and respite. Well, then I um. <laughs> One second. I guess I can seek you out at the t if there is a tavern or like a gathering place. Maybe I can seek you out later and we can talk more about it. That would be, uh, I would hope would be insightful. Sort well, of, sling, uh, she sort of like slings the, um, the uh, suitcase over her shoulder and she looks to the Claire. She's like, Okay, come, Ophira. We need to uh, be on our way. We are on a busy time schedule. He, she sort of just like walks off as the cleric follows in tow. Alrighty. Well, cool, that... I will start heading towards the gates then. I'd say as that conversation ends. Zenith, if you look around at all, you have a little bat person just staring at you, waiting for a conversation to end. Just like watching. <laughs> the conversations are cued. <laughs> like, that didn't want to interrupt. That was rude. Yeah, that's that's rude. Cutscene. Cutscene. Which is like horrible Cutscene. because being a pallid bat, your ears are fucking huge. Yeah. Like, so you just have these giant ears going up. Huge. She's two and a half feet tall. It's all ear. Horrible. It's, it's mostly ear. ear. Yeah. It's mostly ear. <laughs> um, what was the name yeah. of that gnome again? Like, how do you spell that? Uh, the gnomes. The, the way you spell the the gnome's name is F A E H A N A. So Fehana, and then and were... their last name is Springwander. And they were with the, like, a church? They a are, church? they introduced themselves as a paladin of the cog. And then they were with that health, half-elf cleric lady? Yep, uh, who, you only caught their first name, what was, uh, Hophira. H-O-P-H-I-R-A. Okay, thank you. Cool. Well, I will... Head towards the gates then, like I was originally planning to do. Right. Jinx is now just gonna fall us in. <laughs> okay. Yes. Just like right behind her. Oh. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so as this conversation is happening and everybody starts to go through the gates, yeah. is anybody looking to do anything else or just talk with one another? Um yeah, I'm kind of staying back a little bit um but i'm staring very obviously at vanica trying to get a good look at her to confirm whether or not she's the person i think yeah, she yeah. is but i don't want to be like rude yeah. in case she's not the person that i think she is so <laughs> i'm very like. much like kid standing in your doorway waiting for you to notice them type of thing <laughs> look how the two yeah. charismatic people are doing that to everyone <laughs> i was gonna say she's kind of like paying attention but not because this is just rocket science to her what everyone's saying um but she does eventually notice you and it's kind of one of those things like she stares for a moment like it hasn't clicked just yet and then she goes I, I immediately just run right up to you and, and hug you. 
She returns the hug. She's like, oh my, oh my goodness. Hi. I, I didn't I, think to see you so soon. I, I didn't expect to see you here. How, how are you here? How, how? what? Oh, um, recently, actually, um, actually, and she'll, she'll kind of, without touching herself, she'll kind of look like she's pulling oh, yeah. something apart and you see her chest kind of unwind, almost like uh, a bunch of knotted uh, branches kind of untangling themselves as you see um, a familiar blooming bud, only uh, golden in color with some purple, uh, almost flickering like a heartbeat in the center of her chest before she slowly lets it kind of come back and hide. She's like, well, I was given a blessing to venture out, so I'm really nervous. I've never been this far before, ever. Um, so hopefully I don't die, hoping. Yeah, I'm. I would prefer you not to die. Um, this thing with the the creature over there that doesn't happen all the time. Don't worry. Really? Cause I literally just stepped out of the forest like just a few hours ago, and this is the weirdest thing that's happened so far. I I know it looks bad, but it it's not it's not common. I promise. The roads are usually kind of mostly safe, sort of. <laughs> okay. Perfect. A perfect description of any road in D and D. Kind of mostly safe, sort of. Yep. Okay. Um, well, I imagine this is a, a town that you've told me about. I see lots of big things um, where people live. Yeah, I, I mean, I've never been inside this one, but oh. I, I was about to be. Okay, uh, w would it be rude if, if I tagged along? Um, I, I don't know No, by anything. all means. I I'd, I'd love to travel with you. You know, all those stories yeah. that I told you, you could be part of them. I'm going to be part of your adventures? No, I'm oh. going to be a part of your adventures. Does that mean people like you are going to, like, tell tales about me? About us? I mean, maybe. It's possible. Well, hopefully nothing too crazy. I, I'm not looking for crazy, but I, I'm also a realist. I know things are going to happen. So... It'll be fun. Yeah. Okay. It'll be nice to travel with people for once. Yeah, you always come back with... It's, the, your tales are very exciting, but you're always by yourself. I always yeah. wanted to come with you. Yeah, I just never really found a, a group, you know? Yeah. But hey, maybe we're the start of one. <laughs> that would be great. I mean, for obvious reasons, I couldn't go on my own adventures other than, you know couple miles um yeah I, so, I yeah didn't think you were ever going to be able to leave the woods me either but um, I, I didn't even know this was possible this, this is great well something kind of came up within my forest that um the the gods are very concerned about uh, i'm concerned about that it actually kind of reminds me of that snake that we saw oh. So because of that, um, I was permitted to leave. Uh, as long as this is okay and that the the spirit is okay, I should be okay. It, Fingers is, crossed. Is the grove going to be okay? I don't know. That's why uh, I'm here. Hey, that, that tiefling person seemed to know an awful lot about this. Maybe we should go talk to them about it. Yeah, that's, that's actually... A, Funny how that happens. I, I've literally just stepped out into open space. By the way, not used to this. There's a lot of sky. Space. Space. Yeah. A lot of sky. Yeah, this is weird. Um, <laughs> but it's so nice to to at least hear it. Someone may know. Um I you you know me and people I don't really trust well. Um Yeah. I'm also not very sociable. Um Yeah. So it, maybe you can help if that's not too much trouble if not that's totally fine i could try to find the courage to do it but i, I don't talk to people really I, I mean i don't i don't know if i'm the best person to be that example but i can try yeah you, you've talked to people though so that's a step up for yeah, me i mean if people are nice i'm nice to them maybe 
As far as people have crossed you and some of the cool techniques you told me about were, were pretty exciting. I just, I don't like rude people, you know. And I, neither do I. We'll be fine. They do bully each other a lot, so, yeah. you know. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah. But so, hey, you're nice, me. so people will be nice to you, I'm sure. Well, here's hoping. I mean, I've, I've told you before, people have eventually ventured deep enough into my grove that tried to capture me or kill me so you know not always sometimes yeah they just look and they just go oh witch or hag or hey let's sell it <laughs> i i yeah. should probably warn you that that's probably not gonna change out yeah. here either yeah well what little i already know i thankfully was given multiple blessings uh, to help at least protect myself, so I'm not as vulnerable as I was before. So there's that, and just like my tree, I'm have room to grow. So yeah, and see what happens. I mean, I saw what you did with that snake. You're capable of defending yourself if things go south. Yeah, I felt better doing it then because the first time I used that was actually uh, the other day. Um, I heard a noise and I freaked out and I think I scorched a squirrel. I felt awful, but I was very nervous. So I, 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 I I'm sure I nature did. will forgive you. <sighs> I, I think so. I, I was skittish. This is all new to me. I was in, I, what's, what's the term that you used? Uh, like trigger finger. Uh, yeah. Maybe try to <laughs> refrain from doing that in, in the city. Yeah, I'll try. There's there's a lot in the city that can like jump out of the shadows and surprise you. So maybe Oh. Maybe don't Oh. do that to them. <laughs> I can't promise, but I am going to try my best. That's all anyone can ask for. Okay. Um I heard something about a a, a tavern I think I, I recognize that word. You've used that word before. It's a place where people drink and fight. Drink and occasionally fight. Yeah. Okay. Is that where we need to go? I, maybe. I, I think we should we should follow the the tiefling lady. Um, see if okay. they can help us with your Do you growth drink problem. for information? Is that what that is for? Uh, depends on the person. Violent? Depends on the person. Violent? Oh, okay. Okay, well, I mean, no, the I've tree's had... gonna drink. I'm just thinking about drunk tree. when she's drunk, like how she's gonna be. They have wine in the Feywild, it's fine. Does she indulge a lot? No, but. <laughs> but, but like, Fey, Fey wine is different than. Uh, it is different. Totally. It is very different. <laughs> we got to see totally. Don't drink the dwarven <laughs> wine. Um, okay, I'm just gonna stick to you. I do apologize. Because I realized how skittish I was, there may be times I may grab onto you. I apologize. I, that, I won't that's okay. That, that's okay. Um, I think it's okay. probably best that we stick close together anyway. Okay. Bye. And she'll she'll go ahead and kind of wrap an arm around you, and you notice that her fingers start to grow, almost like vines, to wrap a little bit more around you for security. She's like, "Okay, I'm good." No. We got this. No problem. We must protect yeah. the tree at all costs. She protects so, and also attacks. <laughs> <laughs> so as everybody begins to like head into town after uh, the little encounter with a giant snake that was completely out of its own environment, uh, we are going to take a quick break here so we can get up, stretch our legs, get some of the drink, all that fun stuff as we are entering the halfway point of today's episode uh and when we get back we will get into the town shenanigans of everything but uh stick with us, everybody we will be right back
sexualize okay. bread. Okay. <laughs> What the hell did I just come back to? <laughs> you don't want to know. You don't want to know. <laughs> You're muted. You always come back to how... spiraled and it's been going on for the last four minutes. We're talking about how the <laughs> internet sexualizes things that shouldn't be. And I said, like, Pokemon. And, I... and we talked about the last spiraled there. It's spiraled from we're there. We're talking about the new archway, the one that turns into a Golden Gate Bridge now in the new DLC. And I'm like, somehow they sexualized that. And that's where we are. Okay, I, I was just like, I, I unmute and I hear, who sexualizes a bridge? I'm like, okay, well, we're back. You know, this is D&D. &D. <laughs> it was a cupcake, yeah, honestly. Yeah. We need to ask no, to talk that's about our part. Things. We sexualize D&D, &D. yeah. We do, we do. Because I also talked about sexy owl folk. I said, I don't know how I got down that rabbit hole, but I found owl folk that turned out to be pretty dang sexy. And I'm like, all right. Is most camera frozen? I can see it. Oh, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. oh nope. no she's oh. just standing super still okay <laughs> i'm good okay, okay no, so i was still, like you do I that was too like... sometimes Rogan. oh no you i do, do. Too, you i do stand still if i'm reading anything if i'm reading anything on like another monitor i'm just completely still yeah okay it takes all my brain power what am i gonna do <laughs> right uh give me one moment because i have... welcome back to our show guys Hi. Yep. <laughs> Look, on Monday's campaign, a lot of us were hitting on other people, so. Is it really out of the realm of us talking about that kind of stuff? No. Uh, yeah. Do not rope me in with that. I was not talking about sexy Pokemon. I want to make that very clear. <laughs> <laughs> I am pure of heart. She was uh -huh, just listening. Uh -huh. So, again, yeah. for the record, sexy owl folk. Anyway. That's how it all started, and we started. went down the rabbit hole. Anyway. So as the um, group begins to make their way into the city, going by the front gate, Danielle, mm -hmm. you hear a very gruff voice. God damn, that flute is loud. Yeah, I'm having to adjust the volume myself. Let's just turn that down. Yeah, there we go. You hear a voice. Yeah, that's actually really loud. <laughs> you have yeah. a, you you hear a voice calling out from behind you. First day gate duty, and you're already causing trouble. It's part of my charm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's call it charm. Sure. And as you turn around, you see the um. The captain of the guard standing there kind of just like arms crossed just very just like a very like teasing smirk on his face as you see about a six and a half foot tall uh onyx dragonborn standing there in just like very like well kept black uh leather armor a uh like large like great sword over his back and he's just got he's got his arms crossed and he's just like shaking his head like, Speaking of sex, God as damn. he just like motions, <laughs> as he like motions to you, he's like, "All right, gonna need a report, and I need you to point out everyone who was involved in that." Hi, sir. And she basically looks back to what was the caravan line. Is anything actually destroyed, or was it just a thwack to the side of a cart and nothing else? One cart was destroyed and kind of thwacked off the road. Everything else seems to be intact thanks to the quick action um, okay. of like you and the other individuals. Alright. Uh, she's gonna look about and points out uh, the wizard and also the the lapac the hooded figure um points out a bunch of others that were also involved in the fight and basically ex explains you know the attack happened corruption magic chaos magic uh, but dealt with within a few seconds. Uh, seems that uh, we were fortunate to have casters 
that were willing to help, including uh, a couple from the uh, the cog, if you will. Yes, I've spoken to them already. Hmm. See, is you point these uh, the individuals out? He just calls. He just calls out you five, front and center. In nicer terms, please come this oh, way. <laughs> oh, what, we wrong? what happened? Oh my. Are we in trouble? No, no, you're not in trouble. We just need to have a little chat. They just he need said, to talk about what happened. Is this about the snake? He said and five, so Jinx isn't joining. <laughs> She's staring back there like, I was hiding behind well, someone. Uh, no, no, um, it was me. Well, there's six of us total. Oh, yeah, yeah sorry. So, I no, up there. He, Aside he, from Danny. <laughs> I, I'm yeah. literally a town guard. Hi, how's it going? No, my brain just short circuited and that's what happened. Mm. It's the low intelligence, I apologize. It is. Yeah. Low intelligence, and I have half my intelligence going to watch my channel right now. That's fair. Speaking of which. Um, so as this dragonborn over. calls out to you, are you following his orders or what are you doing? I'll follow. Yeah. The rules yep. were made to protect us. I stand behind wow. tall person. <laughs> Which is you. literally everybody else in this town. Yes. <laughs> so wait, you're standing behind me? What? Literally stand behind everyone else. <laughs> uh, Danny, how tall are you? Uh, I'm only five foot. Oh, okay. But you you're know, five foot small bat. Oh, you went back to your original. I thought you were like seven feet. Okay, never mind. We old yeah, school, yeah. Danny. All right. As, yeah, we old school, Danny. As the group of you comes forward, he sort of relaxes a bit and looks everyone over. And you can see that, like, his silver eyes are just, like, giving everyone just a once over. I pull my hood down a little bit more. Hey. Can't see me. I'm behind everyone. <laughs> what color dragon <laughs> is this again? Onyx. 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 Yeah, Jesus Christ. So not only is it there we go. but it's like Yeah, it took two hours. Two hours. <laughs> two Press hours. Dissertation. You have love. no one to blame but yourself. I was gonna say I got true. that look, too. We can look, I can make it anything. I can make it anything and somebody's gonna throw it. I can make it I can make it, I can make it a disheveled looking wizard that looks like they've been homeless Young for the past man. ten years. And we're like, ooh, hobo. Exactly. Or like hippo. nobody hippo. nobody I, I was gonna say, Corey, you know that's my type. See? You know, I'd, I'd, I'd like to say you're wrong, but you, you did describe a fairly scrungly looking sea elf in the Monday game, and I was immediately like, you're coming home with me. Yeah. See? Yeah. See? Yeah. I, can I, make, I, can make some, I can make somebody look like a walking trash fire, and somebody is going to thirst after them. I, I, you know, I, isn't I, we, we can play money. They're just project variety. people. Variety project people. is the spice of life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jaffiel. And the spice, we don't judge. <laughs> yes. So you just sprinkle a dragonborn in front of yeah, us. Yeah, just on there you go. <laughs> <laughs> He's a guard, so there's gotta be some muscle on him. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. How tall is he? Mm -hmm. uh, about six and a half feet tall. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, brother. Yeah, you made him tall too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he he like just sort of like gives everybody a one silver. It's like the fact that I have to look up and I'm like. Oh. <laughs> and then he walks by each of you one by one and just drops a bag into your hands. I thank you for looking over the city. Not many people would spring to action like that, but you few are cut above the rest. You have my thanks and the city's thanks. <laughs> Welcome Somehow to Trey Garen. I was just startled. What does it do? Oh, look oh. into the bag. It's payment. Inside the bag is 50 gold. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Chloe, what do we do with these? Oh, uh, that is currency. Uh, is he, he kind of like looks at you and just like raises and like just raises his brow. You do I know what. Actually... Wait, he kind of gets closer to you. And you in like he just like inhales. Oh, wow. <laughs> Busky. Is Interesting. That what I think it is, sir. Definitely a floral smell, if if nothing else. Definitely a floral oh, my. smell. <laughs> hmm. 
like thought, old woods sniffing up that tree as, as he is he like stands up again and just smirks I thought you were just children's tales guess the world is definitely changing anyway enjoy your stay in the city Danielle or you need to make NPCs less sexy Danielle mm-hmm. you're off duty for the day rest and relaxation you know the drill uh, fair enough. Um, I guess I could guide this one and kind of points to Vanica around town. Probably introduce them to some things that are new to them. Yeah. yeah. If you could show us to like a tavern or something that's welcoming to, you know, our types, that'd be great. There's a tavern. Can I go? Uh, are you going? You are going in that direction too? Yes. Uh, and if you want to come with us. Fighting. Well, maybe. Um, if you want to come with us, I I do need to talk to you as all the eyes in her hood kind of glisten a little bit as she turns to look at you. Me? Yeah. There's suddenly so many people who need to talk to me. That sounds fine. Um, yes, I would like to... Oh, um, I turned to... Um, I turned to Zafira. I was like, "Do you want to come with us? We're going to the tavern. Is are you? Do you do you do you drink?" Um. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I, I I I drink all the time. You know, I it, it's. Oh, okay. It would be nice to try some real mead. Sure. I I tried to make it once. Didn't work out. Long story. Let's go. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, I I would yes, let's go. I'm, I, I was going to meet some people there, I think, but I don't know if they'll actually show up. So, but yes. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that it would be nice to. I gotta get off my a, feet. A, yeah, yeah, that that would be helpful. I think it would be nice to have a drink with friends. Um. Well, and everybody relax. I'll lead the way. Thank you, sir. And uh, she will abruptly turn around, and you will see that she also has a shield on her back as well. But she did not use it in the fight. (laughs) Um, The shield actually has a symbol that is much like the markings she has on her forehead. Do I recognize it? I was going to say, is it a symbol that any of us recognize? Yes. Not uh, me. Oh, hmm. <laughs> Not giving too much information. Uh, if you have any inkling with the Fae itself, especially Vanica, they would know it's a, like a family crest. crest. Cor- Corey, would I know anything about it? Aside from it, aside from it being a family crest, you wouldn't necessarily know much about it. You know okay. what? I, I I could make a roll oh, to see if I recognize it. Um, sh- should I do a history or insight? What would you prefer? Um, honestly, I don't think I am gonna Ooh. make you roll. As okay. like it, it's pretty much just a family marking. Okay, I probably just recognize it's fate in nature, but I'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> ah, baby sit-ups. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, like, so as, be the only one. <laughs> as we're walking, I tell uh, Zen, Zen Zenith, it's like, I I tried making mead once, and I knew that. You, I've seen my grandmother make it with honey and water. And you have to keep it in a cool, dry place. So it was under my bed. All I got was ants. Um. Do you know how to make meat? I will say, the fact that you tried something new is something to be congratulated on. The fact that you got ants should not be a discouragement. You can always try again. Yes. 
Myself, I kind of prefer wine, and I kind of prefer wine that's already made by someone else. But if you ever need a tester for your mead, I might be there. Do you... you're from the... I mean, well, you're from a magic college. I don't know if you have books on that. I might have to speak to the bartender. I'm sure we can how. find a book for you on how to make mead. I would For sure. Because... Also, oh, uh, mm -hmm. if, if you want, um, I, I do love to cook. So if you want um, me to make make you anything, You're I so will do my best. generous, considering <laughs> we just met. Thank she you. She just wants friends. <laughs> In the only oh. way she knows that, because she was raised by her grandma, so she knows that, like, you get friends by feeding them. <laughs> You know how you said earlier you wanted people to really like you? Dude. Different tiefling, same situation. Yeah, in, in, in... I want people to like me. <laughs> I need everyone, everywhere I go, oh. to like me so much all the time. <laughs> it is exhausting. <laughs> that is such a mood. I'm, I'm not I'm aware of nothing. I am not just talking about Zenith. This is Malls. This is Malls. <laughs> such a mood. Oh, I thought you were quoting John Mulaney, because that's a thing. <laughs> oh. No. Because he says that bit, I need people to like me all the time. It's Everywhere exhausting. I <laughs> oh, I relate. But, um, I mean, why don't you hold off on cooking, and why don't I just buy you an ale when we get to the tavern? And we'll start there. Sounds good. Cool. <clears throat> So you mentioned you're from a magic college. <laughs> it's more, more personal. The <laughs> <laughs> first time we heard her speak, and I already love it. <laughs> Whoa, what's up? Did you a, a, a magic college? Sorry, what was your question? You're from a magic college. I I am I'm from the um, Ren Sarah Academy of Wizardry. How, how do you get in there? I'm a wizard too. <laughs> Are you? Very, I'm just not very good. Oh. I need why, help. Why on earth yeah. would you say that? Why are you not good? Things don't always work out as intended. In what way? I smell chaos. Other things happen. Chaos. <laughs> okay. Um. I, so some of the wizards in my town tried to help me, but they couldn't. They didn't like my magic book. I'm just imagining your voice coming from your baby, like your little bad baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair enough. He's about that size. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just. I speak directly to your baby. Um. <laughs> no. Um. I uh, actually got in. Um, my parents helped a lot with it, but I mean, gosh, it sounds a lot like you deal with, from what I know, what she's talking about, like, wild magic, can I make like a- You couldn't give me an arcana roll. Well, that's one of my burst. One second. I got a 13 and I think I have a plus five. I'm pretty darn sure that I have a plus five. Okay. Yes, I have a plus five to Akana, so an 18. With an 18, you do know of people who are afflicted with the gift of wild magic to where they have the ability to tap into the magical weave and cast spells. And at times, other chaotic and unexplained things could happen with the spell, the spell going off. It's not necessarily something that they can control. It's just something that's that comes along with their magical gift. Um, wild magic is that something that only affect? Uh, uh, just remind me. Is it's that a sor sorcerers? Yeah, it's only a sorcerer thing. As okay. like as like s sorcerers are like born with the magical ability, and sometimes said magic ability is just chased with a little bit of chaos, especially if it's a induced. Okay. Um, oh god, I love I these would, vocals. Sorry. I would probably say, um, what is your name again? Kinks. 
Because I'm kind of jinxed. Sure. Well, I don't know if the you, I don't know if the wizards in your town maybe were aware of this, but it's possible that you're not a wizard. No, no, I'm a wizard. I make spells. <laughs> I brought a little book. It's made out of like tree bark and pages pushed in between it, and if you look inside, it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Okay. Well, it's very possible that you could be, um, you could have wild magic. Did they ever tell anything like that to you? No, what's wild magic? Um, wild magic is something that, um, people who have a natural affinity for the weave, who are kind of born with this ability rather than learn it, like what I did, um, they have a tendency for their magic to have unexpected outcomes, um, that are a little outside of their control, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're bad, it just means that you're different. Not a jinx, but jinx is a nice name, though. Wait, wait, does that mean I'll never learn to control my magic? Um, not necessarily. Would I know? I, I mean, the Rensera Academy of Wizardry, would there be sorcerers there, too? Would I have yes. known any? Yes, sorcerers do sometimes uh, pop in. From okay, uh, time and... to time, just to like better understand what's going on with them. Not necessarily and... to like study magic because it's just mm -hmm. like natural talent to them, but it's more to get an understanding as to why they can just now produce a fireball when before all of this stuff woke up inside of them, they were just like a normal farmer. All right. Um, and do I know if people are able to kind of control their wild magic or will it always kind of be a little chaotic? Uh, it's. <sighs> It's less about control and more about acceptance that the chaos will just sometimes come. Okay. Well, I kind of tell Jinx all of this, like what you said, and just say like, hey, just learn to accept it and maybe roll with it. Um, variety is the spice of life. It doesn't mean you're bad. It means that you're naturally gifted. You have something that I had to really learn. I've given you okay. a lot to think about. That's a lot. Yeah, Jinx just kind of goes quiet and is contemplative. <laughs> She's so encouraging. She is. It's so sweet. Yeah. Um. Well, are you coming to the tavern with us? You can come with us. We can talk more about it. Okay. Okay. And she is looking like she's practically writing to keep up with you guys. Completely <laughs> meetings. Would it be I... rude if I offered her a hand? Or is that like, if you if you offered her uppies? Yeah, I don't want to infantilize you. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> to climb up if you offer it. All right. Well, there we go. We'll both go to the tavern. We'll all go together, and we can talk more about it later, if you want. It looks like you have triple giant ears coming off your back. <laughs> <laughs> She just clamps onto the shoulder. Ears. Yeah. She ducked down enough. She just clamped onto the shoulder. The, so, the hooks. As you all are having your conversations, um, Danielle, you begin to lead everybody through the streets, um, of Trigarin, and there are you can see that you're passing like numerous shops, a couple, uh, a couple, uh, Smith areas, um, and through a like a local market as you take them to a well-known and well-respected uh tavern slash uh technically ale house mm. um which, which is which is known as the black cask the black cask brewery uh yes and as you walk up onto this establishment you notice that there is both like it there's like an outside like patio that's got its like own uh bar set up and out there you see some of like the larger individuals like in the town like centaur and stuff like that um outside you know around pretty much like standing room tables you know to accommodate their um just the the size of their bodies um and inside you can hear 
it, what almost sounds like another packed house, even though it's barely middle of the day. And as you grow, cl as you grow closer to the um, the door, you begin to smell like smoked meats and um, very like you can you smell like the soup of the day and everything just already on the fire as people are like coming in for like their midday meal. Oh, it's gonna be a bit busy today. Oh boy, that's a good meal they're cooking up right now. That was amazing. I am so hungry. I could imagine so. You've been traveling for a little bit. Well, I've just had some nuts and apples, and that's it. Hmm. Yeah, apples keep you awake at night. I know that much. Apples do. Welcome what? to the food show. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Uh, nothing, nothing. Uh, do please come in, and she will swing the doors open. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> uh... and as you like, you swing the doors open. You notice that, it, like, just like as it sounded from the outside, this tavern is packed with people. Um, hmm. and as you like walk in, like a throwing axe just buzzes right by your head and just like embeds into a board next to the door as you can see the oh. owner um the owner and operator this very large robust like gray and black minotaur uh kind of just laughing as it just like skims you is oh, was that one of my old ones <laughs> and she goes back to grab it oh my like and, and it takes a moment but you're able to pull it free so what danny they they uh fire you already uh no i've been relieved for the day to help these people get some nice food and board <laughs> uh, uh, tour guide got it yeah uh had an already had an exciting day already got into a fight i mean and uh, i know this person yes uh, his name is uh arduk stormhide Ard. Or stout hide. I'm sorry, not storm hide. Stout hide. How do you spell uh, uh, the first one? H A R R D U K. H A R R D. -U -K. You said storm hide. Stout hide. Stout hide. I was so close. <laughs> and he's the owner of the Black Cast Brewery. Yep. Uh, well. Make yourself uh, comfortable anywhere. Somebody about, you know, take your orders. Taking you're going to want more than just drinks today. Uh, yeah, they've been driving a bit. They've probably got empty stomachs at the moment. First time here? As he kind of like looks back at everyone. Yeah. Perfect. Yes, uh... <clears throat> I will set you all up with a uh, special meal that I call a tour of uh, Trey Garen. <laughs> Thank you. That's very generous. How do you spell Trey Garen? Y E S. Um, give me a second. Let me scroll through here to find. If it helps us in the, uh, yeah, yeah. I can no, just do it. I've got, I've got the spelling. Yeah. Okay. T R E G A R O N. How -E far is G A R O N? Thank you. How, I was just going to do it phonetically. How far is the town from the forest? The, from the, Lonick? Yeah. <laughs> you, you're, you're, you're looking at probably on foot, probably about a week's worth of walk. So I've like never been here before ever, it seems. Okay. Not, not even a week. It'd be more than that, given the size okay. of the map. Yeah. If you didn't hitch a ride or anything, you're probably looking about like two and a half weeks of just on foot travel to get here. I feel like Jinx just hooked onto some cart somewhere. No one ever knew she was there. Nope. <laughs> just stowed away behind a barrel or something. Little ears with the, well, big ears, but like ears poking up. Yep. Noticing everybody that's like pretty much filled up the interior and knowing how everyone that's behind me has basically proven how sociable they are um just gonna
take one of the outdoor patio spots and hopefully they'll come around soon okay so you're gonna go out you're gonna go outside instead of stay inside yeah okay to the Just patio to... seating yeah okay that's and probably polite as you uh walk outside to the uh the patio seating uh there are a couple other groups there but one of them stands out to you danielle as there's this large um female centaur with just like a um a male um breastplate on and uh a bow sort of like slung over her shoulder and then around her are various uh bipedal people uh humans half elves a dwarf but all of them are in what almost looked to be like a toga get up as it's just the the singular it's like just a red and black um toga they've got like sandals on and everything and each of them have a buckler and a sword hmm. that's not uh, that's is that part of the town guard that's guard? not part of the town guard but um they are part of an organization known as outriders outriders they're the best way to put it is gladiators that are sent out into the field to handle the more challenging situations. Okay. That looks like but, a tough crew. Hi, those be the Outriders. I can tell you more about them later. Sure. I don't know anything about them. Uh, basically, uh, hands for hire. Oh. Hmm. They like to do really tough, uh, tough in a rumble. Why aren't you in there? You're tough. <laughs> I already signed on with the guard. High demand. That's what you are. <laughs> I appreciate it. Ah. But uh, please, uh, take a seat, and she will Riker-style herself onto one of the seats. The only way to sit in a chair. <laughs> Has to Riker-style. <laughs> Always. I just kind of flap my wings a little bit, so I go off the shoulder and then onto the table. And just sit on the table. <laughs> Screw chairs. I look like I want to attempt to do that seat, but then my I'm like, my wizard robes, oh god, probably, I'll just sit normal. Yeah, don't don't Maybe attempt a, a Riker when, when, you, when you're in robes. <laughs> <laughs> Very trimly. Yeah, I look over at the, the, the other bipedal people that are not in Riker style, and I see a centaur who's probably got their own style, so I'm just like, yeah, this is the right call. <laughs> I, I just, like, look, look at D Daniel... And then I just, and then I, I do the Riker's out because I'm like, is this, is this, is this, is this, is this the way people see, is this is the way people sit in this town. Exactly. Uh, normally, no, that part that I'm holding right here, that's the backrest. I just like sitting backwards. You do the, never mind. I, I thought when you said Riker style, I thought you meant like you lifted your leg over the backrest. I did. To sit down. And then you turned it. Basically, <laughs> and then you turned it around, like Captain America when he wants to talk to you about stuff. There yeah. you go. Yeah, it spins the chair around <laughs> and flings your leg over the the chair and sits down. He's like, "So, it works almost <laughs> anywhere except on the toilet." <laughs> <laughs> the five foot tall person did that. <laughs> Honestly, not trying hard enough on the toilet. Apparently, you got to take your whole ass pants off, dude. Like what? <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. It's a, po it's a power it move. Wear a skirt. It's Short a power shower. move. Just wear short shorts. It's wear those tear offable pants. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a kilt will do it. It's a little skirt. So yeah, just uh, lift it up. Try harder. I don't, I don't think I properly introduced myself. My name is Danielle. Um. Yeah, you're not my mother. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and she just kind of gives them like, yeah, okay. So you're just okay. That's just going to be a thing now. All right. <laughs> so uh, I heard Zenith. I heard Jinx. Um, 
and I heard Zafira. Uh, and kind of looks over to the cloaked figure and our dryad friend. Uh, I don't believe I've had the pleasure of meeting you yet. Uh, what is your name? I'm okay to tell him, right? This is this is I, okay. I think it should be okay. Okay. <laughs> they they seem trustworthy enough. Okay. Um, Vanica. Pleasure to meet you, Vanica. And you are. Uh, given the diverse clientele of this particular area, I think I'm probably comfortable enough at this point to pull down the hood uh, and reveal my uh, hair is just a bunch of snakes. Um, snakes of varying lengths. They're all kind of intertwined with each other and kind of wriggling around, so it's hard to tell exactly how long they are, but they're varying shades of green and they're very happy to be out from under the hood as they're looking around and their little tongues are flicking out. Um, I'm Chloe. Pleasure to meet you, Chloe. Uh, and I apologize if this seems a little rude. Uh, your friends, or is that just a part of you? Oh, um, kind of both. Okay. Did you name all of them? I I don't. We don't ask them their names. That's a difficult conversation. Do I you speak? That. Do you speak snakes? Do you speak to animals? Because that would be a lot easier than me just doing it for you. Uh, there is one. You I'm just telling you right animal? now. I'm not providing a voice for H.B. Fox's hair. <laughs> <laughs> And she oh, come on. Her, Each snake needs their own voice. She will turn her head and she and will list. yell out, Bram! Bram? Be... Is so that an animal's moment, name? For a moment, and... <laughs> for a moment there, yeah, it's like just silent. And then just this bird just flies in and just lands on Danny's shoulder. Oh. Say hello, Bram. And they will squawk at you all. Uh, this is, uh, my friend Raven. Uh, they're just kind of hanging out with me for the time being. I don't know why, but apparently they like shiny things. Kind of pecks at her, like, they're, hair. They're the animal that you talk to. The one. Do they Danica. understand you? Shrugs. Danica will lean in really close to the bird, like, not breaking eye contact, or like, why do you stay with her? As they can speak with animals and plants. It's like the the bird like was just like first like its eyes were just like locked on the bat until you spoke to it and its head just turns and like turns to the side. Watching. And the for the bat for them to do bad things? No, just watching. You stay with them to watch? Yes. I've heard stranger. Pleasure, Bram. Hmm. What's that? He kind of looks looks over back to uh, Jinx. Uh, Jinx is eyeing the bird and has a few bugs in their hand that they're about to eat. And they look at the bird and they're like, turning sideways and eating their bugs. Like, I'm not sharing. <laughs> eating my bugs. That That's a, a lapack. Have you not seen those before? Can't say I've seen one. Oh. <laughs> well, they're hmm. people. Interesting. Too big for food. I have a question. When someone's speaking with animals, are they speaking in English and we can understand? No. Or are they just going nope. to... Nope. Like they're probably they're pretty much just squawking at the bird, and the bird is squawking they're right probably, back. They're doing that clicking noise that ravens do, and then all it's of a, sudden, a lot of like while... clicking, and there's a lot of throat like gurgling, uh, like like kind of like how bir birds gurgle, but it's it's yeah, it's very much not like, <laughs> but yeah, there's 
weird clicking happening. Yeah. So to 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 like to both uh to both Brom and uh to Vanica, it sounds like a normal, sophisticated conversation. Everyone yeah. else just sees this weird lady making noises at a bird and the bird making noises right back at her. <laughs> at that point, like, just kind of scoots it off her shoulder and then just kind of places it next to Vanica. Oh, new friend. So. It's like, oh. <laughs> uh, so what the, what brings y'all through uh, to Garen? Are you just passing through? Or are you actually trying to look for anything? I'm, I was just stopping for some supplies. Okay. Uh, we passed by a few stores, general stores and such. Uh, yeah, it'd be even easier now that I have money. True. I noticed that uh, Vanica asked what money was, so hopefully that conversation will go a lot smoother. She's She's not from here. Oh, I can tell. He gives, like, a knowing look. <laughs> um, any, anyone else? Uh, you all know that I work for the guard. First day. I've been training for the last year or so. It's your first day? Literally my first day, and I get and, into a fight. And that happened? Yeah. Oh, my it's days. Just, I'm sorry. Are you kidding? I was hoping for something to happen. <laughs> Three hours of just standing there going, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, they'll drive anybody crazy. I'll say that much. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. I guess it's, it, you know, it's kind of in the name, guard, right? You're just standing there guarding. Yeah. But... Oh, it's not everything. God. Yeah. I finally got to say cool stuff and join in a fight. Although I did notice, um, where your magic was very effective, my my physical abilities are still. They leave something to be desired. And she are just kind of cracks her knuckles. Are you talking about the snake? If it makes you feel any better, it had a. I think I'm pretty positive that it had just a, a defense against physical attacks. So don't get so down on yourself. There. Still. Pissed off that I just poked out my own javelin after I threw it so hard. Jeez. <laughs> well, but yeah. That was quite interesting. Yes, it was. And speaking of, it. How come those people were allowed to just come into the city with that shard? Well. Do you know them? I know of them. Uh, this new religion I've heard about, that it's kind of... Mm, how do I put this? It's, it's definitely new. I will say that much. Um, there's not many that come and go. This is just something that was told to us while we were studying. Um... Uh, something about the Church of the Mechanicus. Uh, Metal-oriented, not really understanding of uh, what it's about. All I know is that they, they like metal things. And from what I could see from their interaction with that shard, they, they are well adapted to dealing with uh, the removal of chaos from one location to another. I don't know if they can actually do what they said that they were going to do, which is remove it entirely. It's such dangerous magic. I would worry about any one group mm. having that. I mean, I've been told as young as when I was able to understand other people. Chaos and corruption stay away from and these people just kind of walked up and grabbed it i've seen what it can do yeah. um, myself as well so i don't know that's just kind of mm. as long as they're not gonna let it back out anytime soon 
I'm okay with that. Um, hey, seems so, like... <laughs> sorry to, to interrupt, but um, Zenith, you, you're like an expert on this stuff, right? Um, I, a semi-expert. I've been studying it for the past maybe five years over at my academy. Um, not so much anymore, but uh, yes, we've been um this magic is horrible for the environment and it's just tearing everything up and i really dislike that and so i wanted to study it more to see if we, there was maybe a way to make it not do that um but my studies got a bit interrupted unfortunately so i am uh relocating for the time being uh but yeah i've it's not good stuff. Not the best stuff ever. I guess you can't really attach morality to magic, though. It just exists, doesn't it? So, it's, um... Finding a way to manage it so it doesn't cause such an environmental issue, um, or destroys the land would be ideal. That is my goal at the end of the day. What about you guys? Well, it, it sounds like maybe you can help out my friend here. Oh, uh, Vanica. Yeah. Right? Oh, yes? Yes. Uh, help out, um, how? Uh, Vanica, you, you, you I don't said know yet. You were, yeah, you were having that problem, right? With, with the, the grove? Sounds like. Oh, yes. Um, yeah. there has been corruption. Uh, I was given a vision uh, about what would happen if the corruption was not fixed, and it's very bad. Uh, very bad, and could spread, potentially, to the rest of the world? I don't know. Um, but I don't want it to destroy my grove, um, because we'll all die, and I quite like my grove. Uh, so, yeah. It, it started, and I don't know how fast it's going to spread, uh, but it has been like this for a little while now, and uh, so my visions have becoming stronger and more frequent, to the point to where uh, I was told I need to go out and try to fix it, to put it plainly. And I don't know how to do that, so um, they put I'm happy to know it's outside too, so people may know. They put all that on you. That's a lot. Well, I'm honored and uh, probably, well, I don't know if that's, I'm one of the better people. That's actually really rude to say because I don't really know anyone else if they are better, but I was chosen by the gods, so I'm, I guess I was special, I guess. I don't know why, um, but I'm here, so... Well, and I love my grove, so I want to take care of it. I think you sound pretty special. Um, do you have any idea? Did um, I understand it's just a vision? Um, truth be told, I'm not. I'm not very knowledgeable about the spiritual aspect of that stuff, like visions and whatnot. I deal mainly with books. But do you ever have a sense of when this might happen, or is it very like in the far off future? Or very soon. Uh, judging by how frequently my visions have been coming now, um, I'm going to assume it's probably spreading faster. Um, thankfully, uh, I was able to slip past it. Um, I was able to see it kind of on the perimeter of my forest, uh, but it has spread pretty far in at this point, thankfully. Not close enough to my grove yet, but um, I don't want it to, and it's hurting the forest. Uh, I'm so, so sorry about that. Um, I would I have any? That. Thank you. Yeah, would I have any insight as to why this might be speeding up or anything like that? At the moment, um, neither you nor the um, the academy itself know what the direct cause for the spread. Of the corruption or even the creation of the corrupted zones um is created by it just seems that these zones have 
manifested over the over like the 200 year period and every now and then other ones will pop up uh the ones in existence will grow a bit um you do know that up in the northwestern part of this land there is a very large forest that used to play home to a elven kingdom which is now completely overrun with corruption like the entire forest it, it itself is corrupted say uh save or not say but same as the southeastern part of the uh, landmass that you were on the former capital of the of like a very large um kingdom itself has been corrupted to the point to where it and like the surrounding like the, like the surrounding land around it like probably about a good hundred miles of land have been completely corrupted and it's like those two areas combined with the um the main focal point of the corruption in the center of the land are the most corrupted areas here to the point to where it is highly highly um emphasized that you should not set foot on this land without the proper protection because it will kill you would I know anything about the visions? Because um, I also, because I, I, I don't know. I don't think you would know about, per se, the visions. You've heard, you've heard, you've heard, you know, you've read about people having visions in your grandmother's books and the like, but there's not necessarily any sort of factual. Uh, evidence in those books to you know prove or disprove what uh, she is saying. Mm. Well, I'm sure. Obviously, no one achieves anything alone, so I'm sure we can all together maybe find out a little more about this and help out your forest. Fingers crossed. Yeah. But you don't even know me. Why would why would you help? A forest or stranger? Sounds like it'll spread from the forest elsewhere according to your visions. That puts us all in danger. That's very true. That's true. That would involve everyone, you know, in the world. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, which forest are you from again? That one. Just points behind. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have a name? Of uh, Kellip Grove? I, I don't... Corey, oh, no. <laughs> uh, she legit doesn't know the name of it. That's, that's right. the one. It's the one right behind. I it's that way. <laughs> that uh, way. Yeah, so I need the map. <laughs> Harlequin, Harlequin Forest. Yeah. But yeah, the direction, yeah, the direct. Yes. That's the direction. <laughs> the direction she's pointing. Yes, is the Harlequin Forest. Technically, Chloe knows the name. <laughs> it's also yeah. it's also <laughs> the closest forest to the. Uh, the town that you are in and the forest that's the anybody going to the the uh magic academy would have to pass through in mm. order to reach it oh so i would have gone through it yeah okay. so oh i've i went i went through your forest it's beautiful oh thank you yeah i would no one goes near my part of the woods so there's, yeah, there's safe frozen, not so safe frozen. Yeah, Chloe made it. It's not impossible, well, yeah. but it's not great. <laughs> so you two knew each other before coming here. Oh yeah, we we've known each other for a while. Okay. Oh yes. She tells I, me stories of her adventures. I didn't know she was gonna be here. I thought she couldn't leave the grove, so this was a big surprise. But yeah, we know each other. Yeah, Sounds legally I can't leave. <laughs> why, why can't you leave legally? your and as, as you say legally i can't leave all of you are hit with just like this delicious smell of like fresh baked <laughs> bread and uh just roasted and grilled meat and as um harduk just pulls up a large tray and just begins to put like a full-on like uh, like a full spit roasted pig and then a, uh, like a couple steaks in a very hearty bread like couple bread bowls of chowder in front of you 
Hardik, it, right? Your name yeah. is Hardik? You yes. might be the most beautiful person ever right now. I'm <laughs> so hungry. <laughs> I get that a lot when I give people food. <laughs> as, That's my love language. As he's like, now got your food here. Um, What's your poison when it comes to drinks? Why would you love drink poison? No, it, no. Uh, no, no. It's a figure of speech. Why would you willingly harm yourself like that? It's, Hold on, I mean, Vanica. Technically, it is poison. Technically, technically alcohol, alcohol is, is a po- Jinx, personal jinx. <laughs> we both said the same thing. <laughs> jinx, and that's like, what? Yeah, she's like, what? <laughs> I uh, do love a good wine. What's your oh, best wine, Harder? Good, good wine. Oh. Um, well, we have elven wine. We have a couple human wines uh we even have a dwarven wine so i don't really know if you would call it wine but that, that's the mead no no that's not the mead Aww. that's the dwarven wine what, what, the beer what is what is dwarven wine um it's absolute piss darling don't try it <laughs> just kidding <laughs> he, he kind of like looks at you, he's like don't let any dwarves hear you say that no, not at all. I mean, I'll try it. I'll try a dwarven wine. From a, dwarf. a dwarven wine. <laughs> I will try it. Yeah. Okay. And he writes just. He's just got a little, like a yeah. little thing of, like a little notebook, and he writes down dwarven wine. Uh, we also have a Actually, very s- selection of meads, uh, harder alcohols, ciders. You can um, also get water. Do you have? Do you have anything that's a uh, stream or waterfall? Stream. You mean like water? It, yeah, but not just any water. Some water's dirty. So, so like specialty water. Oh, well, I um, guess it's special that, to some we, people. That, that we have they, we have well water. They they clean their water before they serve it. You like okay. bubbles? I love bubbles. Okay. Sparkling water? Okay. Do so, you have sparkling water? Well, when maybe? the sun hits it right, it does glisten. So I suppose well, we it's don't sparkling. we don't have sparkling water though. We do have champagne. Oh, oh I think you'd like champagne, Vanica. I really do. I really, really do. <laughs> I mean, if it's if it's the sparkly water, then it's I mean, think yeah. of it as water, like sunshine water. In fact. If, oh. if I do get a glass of the dwarven wine, could you bring me a flute of champagne? Just in case I hate it. You know what? <laughs> yeah, you, you got it. You're the best. We're friends now. That word's being thrown up quite a lot. So I've got two champagnes, a dwarven wine. Um... You know, we. I. I do think that so well water will be perfectly fine for the table, um, but what types of meads do you have? And I. I was wondering, do you make? Do you make or do you have people bring you the mead? All of our the, mead the... is it, all of our mead is imported. Yes, I. I pay okay. for the barrels. They ship it to me. I don't do have you... a license to make my own mead. Okay. Do you, can you point at some point? Could you point me in the direction of someone who does? Because I've been really interested in learning how to do it. Well, Lately? the um, the brewery that I get it from, other side of the other side of the continent. Oh, oh! I need the map. Up. <laughs> Where's the map? No map for you. Oh no. MS Paint, where are you? Corey, can you find the map? The map. She'll just lean into Chloe. Like, I'm the map. I'm oh, the map. Good. I am I'm the map. 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 Thank you. I always hear that every time someone talks about yep. a map. Possibly a library would be a better option. Was this for, a to library? Do research. Kid, you're, you're, you're talking to a bartender. Libraries are the last thing on my mind. Yeah, just yeah, like... Yeah, you know of a keep... library. Danielle huh? just kind of sits there. Oh. Uh, no. Do you have... What type of honey mead do you have? So mead. 
I mean, oh, okay. You know what? I, I, I'll get you, I'll get you a glass of our best mead. How's that? Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, had it. Her. This is why she asked. She doesn't know uh, all the made of honey. <laughs> yeah. She's learning. <laughs> He's like, I just put honey in a cup of water under my bed, and all I got was ants. There was no lid. It was just, I went to my grandmother's uh, kitchen and took a cup, and I put water and honey and I think some type of herbs. I I don't know. I know that she puts herbs in her drinks. Oh, darling, that's what you meant when you said you made your own mead? That's what you did? Yeah, and I put it under my bed. Oh my days! Oh, she'll just. That's how you get me. ants, exactly. That oh is how you God. get ants. That is. <laughs> that is she said that, she did get ants. <laughs> I did. That is the reason you have to go through training to do certain crafting. Yeah, I mean, it's this was like two years ago, and my my grandmother. Uh, let, let's get ordered first yes, before I you. go on. I, I apologize. Um, uh, I go on tangents. <laughs> the, uh, uh, mead this... and well water for the table. Mead for me, well water for the table. Because you I don't, you don't want the well water. Trust me. In my head, it was like, oh, okay, but you said that you had well water, so I thought that was the only type of water you had. He, he kind of like leans in. He's like, it's kind of like a social faux pas to order water at the tavern. Well, we're ordering other drinks with it. Yes, I, I understand. But if you're you looking for the water as a palate cleanser, that is not what you Okay. okay. Just the honey mead, two flutes of champagne, <laughs> and the dwarven wine for right now. What about everyone else? <laughs> Trying to keep us on track, I apologize. Daniel's just standing there chewing on, on like a haunch. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Quite a day. Yeah, all, all of that sounds great, but um, I'll just take whatever fresh juice you've got. Fresh juice, gotcha. Um, Miss, he kind of like looks over to um, to uh, Jinx. Jinx. I almost said Nalani. <laughs> Size Wrong character. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> big size difference. <laughs> big size difference. Juice is fine. Okay. Danny. Yeah, she's still there snacking on like a pocket bugs. <laughs> mm. Drink. Mead. No. Mead. Gotcha. All right. I will be right back with these. Uh, enjoy the food. Thank He's you. already over it. <laughs> I'm cutting into my leg of meat with a fork and a knife. Just not how you're supposed up. to be. Very, <laughs> very wizard of you. <laughs> Thank you. Don't want to get the grease on the robes. <laughs> Impossible. Fanica's just picking it up with her hands. <laughs> I, I have the bread bowl. <laughs> you're just drinking it like soup. <laughs> Or just was, like drinking it like a cup. For the table? Are you just? I mean, no, we, there, we there are multiple bread bowls. Bread there bread are bread multiple bread bowls. We got bread. We got bread bowls. <laughs> we got meat, and we got uh, meat. chowder. <laughs> Jinx doesn't see any bugs. Jinx is eating her bugs. Put the bugs in the soup. But why would you ruin perfectly crispy bugs with soup? This because is weird. This has like a sweet, it. weird taste to it. What is that? Uh, uh, Manic Vanica? Mm hmm Have you had meat before? Mm-hmm. What yeah. kind? Oh, uh, let's see. We've had rabbit and a human. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ever had a leg of man? Oh. I, I was uh, just <laughs> concerned. I wasn't sure if she was a vegetarian or not. <laughs> oh, so. no. I, I mean, I eat you know, leaves and, and berries and whatnot, but, I mean, we, we eat meat. Okay. Is that weird? No. 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 We were just curious because, well, we've never met you before or anyone like you before, so we would like to know. 
I think we oh. have just as many questions as you do about us. This is... Well, this is a pig, right? We're eating pig? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. I, I mean, pig I've or boar? Pig. Or... Yeah. But yeah, it's... I mean, I mostly eat greens, because not too many animals come by, but when they do, sometimes. Yeah. 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 So I eat meat. I just don't eat other things, like, like I don't know what that is, that brown thing she's pointing to the bread she's like i don't know what that is oh um, that's, that's like oh no, that's uh that's wheat. And the wet the dirty water i don't know what that is uh, gravy that is, uh, chowder. chowder um vanica just tear off a, a corner of it and um just try a bite it's good mm-hmm. i'll do it i rip off a bit and i eat it i love bread i don't really taste anything it's fluffy it's good Dip for it. dunking and stuff mm-hmm. Dip it in the sauce. Box it into the meat <laughs> that she has. That but works. It, eat them at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you like take the, <laughs> the bread. Well, I guess that's a way to do it. But usually you take the bread and like cut it into two pieces. And then you put some meat on one of the pieces. And then put the other bread on top. It's called a sandwich. Hmm. It doesn't taste bad together. I just the bread's kind of tasteless. Well, well, it's, can, it's supposed to be just holding everything else together. But if you toast it a bit, like cook it, and then you add a bit of butter, or maybe even mayonnaise or other condiments, really excellent. You can squish the berries and put it on, like a jam. Ooh, yes. As well on it. Yes, I do love good jam. Oh, that mm. could be that could be interesting. Oh. Ooh. Yes, I try it sometime. Yeah. And Har- My Hardic- favorite is just eating you know, a good old leg of spider. Har- Hardik comes by and he's in, like, drinks are up and he just puts everyone's drinks in front of them. Thank you, Hardik. Yep. This just gives you a thumbs up as he starts, he heads back into the bar. Oh. Vanika, try, and I hand her a flute of the champagne. Just, just try a sip of that. I, prom- I, I hope you'll like it. I'll try mine too. And I'll clink it again. This is what we do here, is you can oh. just hold hold it like what I'm doing. You see, it's just the one hand, pinky up, and then Glass. you can we <laughs> blink our glasses together. It's a form of like, almost like a greeting or a toast. And I clink it against yours. I thought this was going to be toast. <laughs> it, it is a way of saying, may your I put it in? be good. Is that how you make toast? You put it in? <laughs> No, <laughs> you put, if we, let's all do it together. We take our cups and we Look lightly up. tap them against each other's. Yes. And you it's kind how... of like cheers. Yeah, okay. cheers. You know like, how there's a sun in the sky and then if you have a child and it's a boy, he's also your son. It's like that. Toast and toast. Cheers. I take a sip. Okay. I'm not drunk enough for this conversation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, and oh, you, oh. you just oh, seared down the entire thing. Oh, oh, Does it go okay. through her or is she no. to consume it? No. Okay. Uh, solid. Because you decided to, just because you decided to shoot champagne, can oh, I yes. uh, get, can I get a constitution check oh. from you? Oh, no. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Not indecent. Okay. <laughs> it's substantially yeah. like, better. Danielle is like tomboy. Like, oh, that's fuck. Wow, that's fucking impressive. <laughs> I'm I'm actually sad at my roll. Uh, it's a twenty, dirty twenty. Okay. Um, you shoot this thing bad. without a problem. <laughs> oh my. Oh my days. Oh, it is bubbly. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. What Ooh. do you think? That's really good. I've never had that kind of water before. It's called champagne. Um, That's a mouthful. So was what you just did. And then I just <laughs> sipped mine. Yeah. And I want to try this, this dwarven wine. Normally you wish to drink it over time to enjoy the taste of it <laughs> over time. It's in the bottle. It's, it's more of it. No, 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 no. It, the same amount. Like, you notice how I still have a drink left. And she the next is disappointing. The oh. next cup. 
You can, you, if you have like a, another cup, you can, you can sip it. Mm -hmm. I have a question, just as a, okay. a person who loves to learn. Do you get, do you burp? She hasn't yet. What is, what is burping? Exactly. One moment. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> oh. Oh, that. Oh. Uh no. No, I don't. Burp. Fair enough. No. Uh oh. And um, anything liquid I kind of absorb. Okay. So What um, happens yeah, when I a would... plant absorbs gas? Oh. <laughs> I'm not a scientist. That's someone else's problem. <laughs> I know what happens Can when trees I... absorb sparkling water. <laughs> oh, Can as, I? As try the door or go ahead go ahead so say as this is happening jinx is just sliding closer and closer to chloe and she's pulling out her jar of crickets and trying to feed your snakes <laughs> <laughs> incredible i want to try this dwarven wine okay so you pick it so, up and what the fuck is dwarven what wine? is it yeah. it is it almost smells like 100 percent just like pure whiskey <laughs> like Ooh, it is it is and that over to me it's like you get yeah, it you get it man. up you get it up and it's like partially and like it's already clearing your sinuses it's, it's just, right, i'm just gonna reach oh, over the table. poison oh that's poison uh, <laughs> yeah different ales <laughs> oh that's piss that's piss. <laughs> no, no. Piss and piss. Piss with ink. Oh my goodness gracious. And I take another oh sip. It actually wasn't that bad once you get past it. You just got knocked down it. Okay. I just take a little sip and I'm like... <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it is like drinking fire. Oh, it's fireball whiskey. <laughs> no, there's no cinnamon taste. It's just like you're drinking okay. fire. Oof. I have resistance to fire though as a tiefling, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. oh. No, this is a new experience for you. Not this fire though. <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. Thank you. And then, and then I'm like, this, this uh, mead. This the I could you could really taste the honey in the mead. That sounds nice. Do you want to try? This? Okay. Um. Are you okay? Alright. Um. And then, like, because all I, I could, didn't. Sorry, realize... all I can think of is like, like drinking the drinking pretty much what is whiskey, and then following it up with champagne has to be absolutely horrible. <laughs> Good thing you I did the slinky thing. When that might have been the trick. The chaser. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Ew, yeah. I'm, I'm so. So the thing is, is that like I've n my grandmother could hold her lick. I, I like to imagine my grandmother and like her friends could hold the liquor, hold their liquor very well. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, I knew about alcohol. I knew it could like it warms you and everything, but I don't know necessarily about being drunk. I don't think because she's just like, oh, I you know, mahjong parties. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my, my, my grandma would invite her friends over and play poker. And you know, they Why would, would they go poke out. Her? No, they would play card games. Oh. And it's called poker. Oh no. Vanica's data. <laughs> <laughs> They yeah. are dr they are literally veggie data. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, Corey came to the conclusion that I was raised by the Golden Girls. That's a good <laughs> show. I, I am <laughs> That's a good show, of, actually. Were those originals in your pocket and everything? <laughs> so, I okay, you know, so I just start like, like drinking more and more. As well as, you know, just feeling a little dizzy, and I'm like, I'm gonna get that yeah. down. <laughs> okay, like, Tipsy's coming in. I'm like, I don't know what is happening. Let me just put that This down. is why you eat before you drink. I had, I, and I pointed to the bread bowl. Look, I had soup. I had soup. 
I meant soup. Somebody gave you some soup. So, um, you mentioned that Jinx was trying to feed my snakes bugs. How close mm-hmm. is Jinx getting to... Close enough to feed the snakes. <laughs> well, I imagine that's pretty close since they're Are on my head. Um, yeah. Depends on how long they she, spend. She's <laughs> sitting on the table, so... So, at some point... Uh, a few of the snakes are probably going to try and, like, slip their heads into any pockets you have on your outfit and just snatch up whatever happens to be in there. Go ahead and give me a sleight of hand roll. That's awesome. Sleight of snake roll. They don't have a hand, though. <laughs> Doesn't have a lot on her. Sleight of mouth. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a 21. Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay, give me no a sec. Way I noticed. I need to check. Uh, <laughs> give me a sec. I need to check uh, Jinx's character sheet here to see what they got. Oh God! I mean, the only thing I don't have written bugs. down the character sheet is she has pockets full of bugs. She does. Mouth full of bugs. I've got a pocket. Got a pocket full of bugs. Can you roll me percentiles, Fox? I can. Uh, that's going to be a 20. A 20. So, as you're, like, trying to reach up and give uh, the bug something, one of the snakes kind of reaches down, and you could feel a bit of weight as it, it comes back up. As in its mouth is one of Jinx's daggers. <laughs> Snake with a knife. I love it. <laughs> Not a crab with a knife was bad. Yeah, it's a snake. Just wiggling it around. So, uh, <laughs> as soon as I feel that, um, I just kind of shift my eyes in the direction of that particular snake. Mm. And I'm like, no, we don't take from friends. Put it back. And it kind of like looks at you for a moment. And you can see, like, it's trying to process in its mind how it's supposed to bring something this heavy back, and it just lets it go. Is there's just like a thud on the table as the dagger is just now stuck, like point in on it. <laughs> I'm I'm so sorry about that, Jinx. It's okay. It's kind of, it was actually kind of funny. Snake with a dagger. It seems dangerous. Um. Sorry, we, we just, I, that wasn't a conscious thing. It's just. They're cats. You know, we, we have to get by and sometimes we <laughs> do things like that. I'm sorry. I mean, there the are people back in my hometown that do things like that just because. So it's okay. You meet all kinds. Yeah. Um, thank I mean, you for, it, for understanding. You gave it back, so. Well, sort of. I tried to. She's going to attempt to yank it out of the table and put it back in her pocket. <laughs> so, as you are sitting here enjoying your food and drinks, a little bit of time passes. And then there are audible screams coming from down the street. Mm-hmm. And then from one of the top floors of one of the other buildings an outward explosion happens as just debris and everything is just flung all over the place and before we get into what happens we are going to take another very very like quick two minute break before we wrap up with today's session so give us like two minutes everyone and we will be
I'm just like, and I'm we are back. <laughs> oh, let's see what oh. happens. She does stand up. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like, don't say you haven't had that happen to you where you've like been drinking and you you're fine and then you stand up and you're like, oh, Ooh, or, oh yeah, until you go made. to the bathroom yeah. and you're like sitting yeah, on the, the bathroom, bathroom and you're like, like oh, no. Um, Rojan, we were talking uh, because I was asking how many spell slots I had as a wizard, and um, they were wondering if I would recover any of my level one spell slots just sitting down for like eating and drinking with everybody i uh, needs an hour for a short rest yeah the, like technically just sitting ar sitting around eating and drinking could constitute a short rest so how many spell slots do i have again level one you have a uh, level you have one a total of two yeah you know three cantrips and you have two first level spell slots okay how do i fix this your character sheet, if you have it in there as a wizard level one, it should have that for you. It doesn't. I have page. to put it in like manually. Gross. I know. Um, I think I did it. Well, funny, what are you doing? What the hell? Here, I, I can I can take a look at your sheet too. Um, Please help. Give me a sec. I'm just I'm just minimizing the spell so I can see. That's enough minimizing. Yeah, so we're uh, on your spells tab where it says like uh, slots remaining. Mm -hmm. You can just like uh, mouse like just highlight over it. And yeah, just I was re -enter trying it. to change the slots total, so I went to like the cog wheel, and for some reason it like wasn't showing it previously. It was just oh. saying I had zero. So I was trying to change it, and so they were like, you have two. So I was like, okay, so I'll put two. And then it put it at four. And I was like, okay. And I was so <laughs> about that. So I was good, like, old, good old character sheets. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay, okay. It's fixed now. So yep. then if I, I have one slot remaining, or do I have two? Because we took a short if rest. If you took a short rest and you're using the arcane recovery, you, like, you'll get that slot back. You'll regain so one spell slot. Yep. yep. We're at one right now. All right, cool. For the time being, and, and then, like, at some point, I'm just going to bop you all up to level three so you get your fun stuff. <laughs> yes. Ooh. But first, we have to figure out how to play our characters. <laughs> I, always start, I always start all of you off at level one, and then, like, by episode two or episode three, oh. you're level three. <laughs> A level press. <laughs> So, or, you know, you, where are you going? As this happens and the explosion off in the distance lets off, is there anything this group would like to do? Jinx is going to look over at Danielle and be like, is this part of your guys' town's attraction? Danielle's already looking in the direction of where the sound came from. Do I see the smoke cloud? You definitely see, like, the smoke clouds billowing up into the sky. No, and she's already uh, just putting down her drink and her meat. And then if there's a railing, she hops over that, like, within a quick motion, already heading off. She still has all her gear on. <laughs> uh, follow the leader, but we have to pay. Um, gosh. Uh, did we it's, already? We didn't like, pay. Heart, heart, like leans out. And he's like, it's, it's good. Go, go. I'll, I'll, I'll put it on a tab. You're good. Okay, I will be back. We will be back. I've got like food in my mouth. We're going. Well, gotta go. <laughs> he's just grabbing a couple bits of bread and like, yo, I pocket bacon. bacon. Pocket I am bacon. very pocket angry bacon. if I don't have my little snackies. Yeah, treats. we. I get my yeah, little we, treats. We're just like, oh, 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 oh okay, we're going. Let's we're grab out, our we're out. That's how we're trying to go. I'm glad the there's no one at the party that acts like those two uh, Navy people from Pirates of the Caribbean. And one of them just looks by leave it. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rosa, no Rosa, that. this isn't would be heroes. There isn't a communal napkin. <laughs> oh. what? About that. Look, uh. look, look, look. It's not the way people think, but I still Whoa. stand by how I said it. <laughs> it was a so their characters for all of us to write our phone numbers on it. Yeah, their characters yes. their characters you went to in and out. Their characters went to in and out. 
to <laughs> yeah. eat food and somebody grabbed a napkin and everyone wrote their phone numbers down on it for everyone else and the joke of a communal napkin popped up and well that's just the thing now I yeah. said it's the communal napkin and everyone was like ooh and I was like ooh did not mean it that way but I stand by what I said <laughs> yeah. so we had a communal napkin four phone numbers but it was a communal napkin four <laughs> phone numbers <laughs> yeah. oh my god I know, it's great. It's a fun game. <laughs> anyway. Wait, anyway. where are we going? You're right. Well, maybe they'll give us more money if we help again. I don't even know what <laughs> money... You need money. Money is useful. So we go? We should go, Chloe. I guess so. Because everybody else I mean, has already that's... started running off. It's Danielle's first day. She needs all the help she can get. Jinx is flying to True. keep up pace. <laughs> And I grab it. I'm I like. On, you I'm not even head. on duty right now. This is just. We need to help her look good in front of her 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 captain or whatever his handsome name is. <laughs> um, hang on, I wrote it down. Press captain. I wrote it down. Did I? There's your motivation. Captain right? handsome oh, no. name. No, no, no. I handsome. <laughs> no, I wrote it. I only wrote down the. Uh, yeah, he didn't give his the name. The gnome and the. He did, he did not, not, give, he did his not give his name. Okay, we gave him one. He only gave him his so. body. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Batty. Name. Name. None just of us Captain heard of it guard. anyway. Captain, of the Captain yeah, Batty, no Jesus Christ. We don't need to know his name. Captain <laughs> Daddy? No, I said Captain <laughs> Batty. I thought you said Captain Daddy, and I was like... He is Captain Daddy. I don't shot him out. Oh, as, uh, uh, yeah, Vanica will follow closely next to Chloe. She's like, I'm confused, but okay. <laughs> I love D&D. &D. Right. <laughs> Same. Captain oh Panty God. Dropper? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, 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 we got uh, to DM to do it. We got to uh, do it. No. <laughs> no. Has anyone gotten bingo yet? <laughs> no, I haven't made the bingo cards yet. Bingo cards are coming for Monday, and then they'll be for all the other games. But I've had other things I had to focus on. Yeah, um, but <laughs> you all begin to take take off towards the um take off towards the uh area where all of this happened, and as you uh round the corner into the main street where this incident has happened, you notice that the top part of an inn is completely just blown out, like a, a couple rooms have been taken with it. There are bodies uh, like strewed about the street, though you do notice. The captain of the guard there cutting down a body as it stands up just splitting it in two as like these all these other bodies that were flung begin to rise up and give like very angu like anguished gasps and moans as you could see like the life in their eyes is completely drained and their skin is already grayed as the dead begin to like rise up and like even before they can even get to their feet, this, this like this dragon board is running over and just cleaving, like th these bodies in twain, almost as just like a complete disregard of safety. Oh boy! And he sees you, and he just points, Danny, after him, and he points uh, like the other one. You could see that there is a group of individuals, like in just like in these weird blackish blue robes with what looks to be the charred bodies of the um of both the cleric and the paladin the cog running off as they're getting into uh, like they're getting into a cart or into a carriage as they begin to like ride out of town swords out shields out full charge okay and we are also going to see if we can commandeer a Art that's also facing that direction. If not, oh well, on foot. Um, how, okay, are you? How far away are they right now? Uh, at the moment, they're probably about 150 feet from you. Um, can I well, get, throw hold grease on. at them? Hold on, you you're gonna you're you're pulling up grease. What are you doing, Zoro? Damn. Wait, I just have to move a couple more feet, but I'll just like, oh, ah, uh, that's bad, right? Ah. Uh, <laughs> just gonna shoot out a guiding ball to take out one of the wheels. <laughs> okay. Uh so ah! <laughs> both of you throw your spells out. Uh I think uh Greece has a hundred and twenty foot range. Is that right? Uh let me check. 
should. Oh, 60 foot. Yeah, 60 foot. So you're, you're a little too, you're a, a bit too far away for grease to go off. But the wow. guiding bolt rips out from your hand and flies towards the, um, yeah. the, uh, if we carriage. run up a little bit, can we get yeah, within 120 it, feet of the carriage or is that uh, impossible? Not right now because it is starting that's to fine. move. So yeah, that's why I figured. Zoro, go ahead and make an attack against the, um, the carriage. That I'm prepared. Come on. That's 20. That's 20. Come on. I want Jesus, it. that was pretty fucking close, though. <laughs> I'm going to roll you instead of my green die from now on. You've been doing okay. Um, <laughs> what is it? Uh, 25. A 25 will hit. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, babe. Here. Oh, my. Um, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18. 18 damage. You, you throw this guiding bolt and it slams into the wheel. Doesn't necessarily break it, though. You see that, like, it's knocked a bit loose as the wheel is wobbling. As you've, you haven't completely stopped the cart, but it's sort of slowed it down a bit as now it's got to compensate for the uh, damage. See, I also had the same idea, and I was going to run up and cast Magic Missile. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, how far are they from us again? About 150 feet. If I run 30 feet, if they're slowing down, probably not. Probably not at this round, no. Damn. Though, then... I think we can Danica? run, right? Yeah, I would like to run after. Yeah, or Danielle. I combined your guys' name and said Danica. <laughs> Danielle, uh, you um, you do notice that there is a cart off to the side that's been recently unloaded. The horses are still there. Um, it's a two car, it's a two horse cart, but everybody should be able to jump into the back of it. She jumps in, yells out, "Guard duty on our way." Police business. <laughs> Wait, woo, woo, woo. As I want to jump she, on too. Yeah. She, she will start going and we'll wait for people to get on. Oh, Why okay. attack so myself to the roof? <laughs> this isn't, this isn't, this is, a, this is an open, this is like an open, oh. uh, open air cart, just like a little shipping cart. Okay, good. Well, the other one is like a covered carriage. It's a good okay. thing I have yeah, oh. controls. Um. We're, we're landing in the front seat next to, uh, Danny. I'm gonna be in the back seat. I'll be like, just get me close enough. I just need to. I want to. Just get me as close as you can. Try. Knew there was something fishy about those guys. All right, and you black. whip the horses and you start taking off down the street. Uh, after this um. After this runaway carriage, um. Danielle, since you are the one who is operating this, do you have proficiency with land vehicles? I do. Oh, nice. perfect. Well, thank God. You have your driver's <laughs> license. You have your driver's thank license. God. Perfect. So go ahead and give me a <laughs> vehicle handling roll here because this is not a horse. This is a cart. So. Yep. All right. We're looking at a total of 21. 21. Nice. As you hop in and you just whip, whip the horse, you easily get, get around uh, a couple of the barrels that are just, like set out as that were unloaded. Um, and you come to a corner that the carriage sort of like takes at a sharp turn and sort of slams into a wall as it like Lean. just like pretty much cleaves off a couple of the like the outward bricks of a building. But as you come to it, you sort of like perfectly drift without necessarily hitting anything and able to uh, stabilize it out to where nobody in the back has to be worried about thro thrown out of the back. So, uh, Roden, if we get within 120 feet, that's when um, James magic. will throw a firebolt at it. Oh, <laughs> I was, I was gonna, gonna say gonna we cast magic just kind of set the cart on fire. Okay, so you guys are within 120 feet now. So if you want to okay. whip out a magic I missile and a firebolt, fire. you can most definitely do it. So magic missile. I'll let no. Firebolt go first, and if there's really no need to cast magic missile, then that's fine. Okay, because it's 22. a trip, so a 22 will hit. It's a carriage. Okay. Where's my, where's my D10? Uh, seven points of fire damage. Seven points of fire damage. And it says a flammable object hit by the spell ignites if it isn't being worn or carried. Yep. 
Can she aim so it also kind of hits that same wheel that, um... Oh, I was aiming uh, for the covering, the thing that goes over the top. Yeah, you, the you, throw, you throw this fireball and it hits the covering and it just instantly starts igniting in flame. I, I yeah. just aim just for the cart, like in, in general. In general, like, okay. Yeah, um, I, I got a total of 12. A 12 is not going to hit. Yeah, as your firebolt kind of goes a little bit wide. I will cast my magic missile and I'm going to aim for the same wheel that um, Vanica hit. Okay. Just kind of loosen it a bit more and hopefully cause it to come to a start. All right. Uh, go ahead and uh, give stop, me sorry. Go ahead and give me the damage. Okay. So it's 3d4 plus 3. Yes. Okay. So, oh, shit. I got two fours and a two. So that's nice. 10 plus 3, so 13. Give me a second here. Got to roll a saving throw. It, the wheel is still on, though it looks like it's badly damaged. Is it slowing them down at all? It's making it hard for them to control as like they're not, the cart is now on fire and shaking. <laughs> How close are we to them? You're, you're within 120 feet. As okay. you see um, the door of the cart or the door of the carriage sort of like kicked outward as it just flies off as an individual leans out of the um, cart, pulls up a heavy crossbow and just shoots it right at uh, Danielle. Shields up. And because he's firing from a moving Stop. object and he's not really in the greatest situation, it will be made at disadvantage. Danielle does a 13 hit you. Really, Danielle. Okay, so that the crossbow flies and just thuds itself into your shield. As you can see that, like, as it hits, there's just like an audible hiss. As you notice, like, this black, like, ichor like substance begin to leak down your shield. Oh, those motherfuckers kind of puts it down for now. I was like, all right, fine. Yeah. Um, da Danielle, how's your throwing arm? Unusable if I've got both hands filled with the reins. I can try to hold them. No. No. This is up to you. I just got to get y'all close. And, and you whip it again. Or as... do you want to do anything? Yeah. Is anybody else doing anything? Those of you who uh, haven't I, acted. I... I yeah, I do still have like five javelins in my back. Like they're just so out. Zoro and Fox. The two of you, you two haven't acted this turn. So if you want to do anything. I can't do anything until I'm at least 60 feet. OK, Same. so we're so I, far away. I got a crossbow. Well, I got <laughs> I, I can do a crossbow, too. Um, Jinx, you have a flying speed, right? Yes, I do. What is it? 30 feet. Uh, I don't think Slower than the cart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I, I need to be closer before I can do anything. Same. Mm -hmm. right. If we're going into a second round, I have more stuff I can do. Yep. If only we had haste. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, one day. One day. Uh, as we go into the second round, uh, Danielle, since you are still controlling this thing, can I get another vehicle handling check? Alrighty gonna be a 19 a 19 okay so you uh are flying down the street and you can see the uh the gate of the city in the distance and as you're going and you're going the the car, the carriage in front of you sort of hits a bump in the road and it starts swerving all over the place and it crashes into a uh one of the um just the side merchant stalls and it goes and it crashes into another one the second one as it crashes, it flings the crossbow man out and he takes a tumble uh, away from the the carriage, sort of either incapacitated or just knocked prone at the moment, but the carriage continues on. That elf woman or the person who had the shard in their bag, mm -hmm. there and there. Yes. Okay, cool, cool. A fair, a fira? Who uh, took the bag? Ophira. I forgot. Oh, oh, the cleric. 
cleric. The cleric. The cleric has the bag. Sierra. Yeah, yeah. Sierra. The half elf. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, as we get closer, if I'm within 120 feet of the horses now, because I know they're a little ahead of the cart itself, um, I'd like to hit them with a chaos bolt. You're going to hit the horses with a chaos bolt? Yeah. Okay. Because they you, can leap from person to person are, and the rolls. I'll, I'll say you're within 60 feet of the carriage now as it's... Whoever's driving it has no idea how to drive a carriage. Um... So they're just all over the road and being slowed down and running into everything. That's great. Well, so that's an 18 to hit the horse. An 18 will hit the horse. All right. Um, and you, do you need a d20 for this since this is a first level spell? Um, yes. That's an 11. But you're fine. 2d8 and a d6 of damage. Oh, and I need a roll for damage to save. There to be acid damage. Oof. Um, I rolled a one on all the dice. Uh, and I rolled an eight on the other one, so that's a nine. And only six. Uh, one on the six, so that's going to be ten acid damage. Not a lot. And it doesn't jump. I'm okay. hoping either and create as chaos with the horse or have yeah, the horse go down the chaos bolt slams into the horse and it lets out a cry of pain as you notice that it's still up but it's not looking good oh no um okay. anyone else acting how far away are we now about 60 feet oh okay. you're you're pretty much like oh, at the way that you're at now you're almost side by side with it because the, the the angle w that you're at now was enough for um w was enough for Jinx to throw the chaos bolt at the horse. So is that wheel still intact right now? Uh, it, it is still intact. Sacred flame. We got okay. This. I'm gonna take that wheel out. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and set it on fire that's as well. A saving throw, isn't it? <laughs> it has a saving throw, yeah. Is it All a right. disadvantage because it's like this right now? Can the like wheel this? make a saving throw? The, the carriage can make a saving throw, yes. Everything has a saving throw. Does it have disadvantage because of how wonky that uh, was? Nope, it is still up. Uh, that's going to be a 19 constitution saving throw. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> Does nothing. And she's like, it's a very durable wheel. This must be really good wood. <laughs> Made from the strongest tree. Is someone able to throw something at that wheel? I... Get a little bit closer. I mean, I could yeah. firebolt the wheel. Oh, wheel. Oh, if we get close enough for something to be thrown, I've got a better idea. Well, you are within 60 we're feet of it. Enough? Yeah, we're, we're close enough. Is, is 60 feet throwing distance in moving vehicles? It is. Eh, because not if you're behind. For... Yeah. <laughs> I realize something oh. I can do. Do it. What's up? It was technically wood. Can I use druid craft to light the wheel on fire? Um, <laughs> I have Tinker's tools. Is that a bonus a action? I mean, the um, whole part is kind of on fire already. No, sorry, it's yeah. an action. Yeah, you, you can do it next so round because you can craft. you can create bonfire on the wheel, but no, because oh, you already sacred flamed it. <laughs> so, so, what was the idea of throwing something? Uh, oh, um, throwing me. I can't okay. throw you that far. You can. I just gotta be smaller. <laughs> you know, if, if you... Can I cast Disguise... Oh, no, that's that's on myself. Mm. Oh, no, Rested sorry. I can, I can make myself smaller. Oh, But we got to be close enough because I don't want to be just yeah, like no. thrown onto the road or something. Fair. Yeah, my strength is plus one, so. Yeah. You don't want my strength. Upset. Time being is not throwing anyone. <laughs> Sorry, small creature is but, not throwing you know, anyone. I can, I can try. 
All right. Uh, yeah. Those of you who haven't <laughs> acted yet, are you doing anything? Um, I could cast Toll the Dead on the horse, but I mean, I don't really know how much. It would be a, I it would it would be a one d twelve against it, I assume, because it took some damage against mm -hmm. it. So it's it already been be damaged. A, it would be a one d twelve if I hit it. We need to make a saving throw for that, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Are you casting Get Toll the Dead the on the horse? Do it. Do it. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, what kind of what kind of saving throw is it? What stat? It's, um, uh, wisdom. 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 Yes. Okay. And I don't know exactly how much. Otherwise, is. is the whole. It, it rolled a whole whopping seven. Oh, I don't think that would make it. But that I doesn't make it. it. I, I I know for a fact that doesn't make it. <laughs> All right. So then I'll roll a one d twelve then. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yours. Spell D DC. I got a nine. Is that good? That is good. Mm -hmm. Nine? Yeah. So Taco Bell bong goes off <laughs> as the horse just sort of like seizes up and just falls dead. Um, Completely disrupting the way the movement of the cart as it just starts going haywire as it sort of just catches air flying out of the gates of the city and crashing probably about a good 30 feet down the road as it begins to roll as bodies and like shrapnel are just being thrown all over the place uh, due to one of the horses that were tied to it uh, just abruptly dying. I feel so bad for the horse. I feel bad. For I got cure wounds. I can. I can. Can I? Oh, cure I wounds ain't gonna no, do anything for this. It's dead. It's dead. Dead. It's dead. It dead. I'm sorry. It's dead, Jim. I'm sorry. No, that's just, okay. Just gonna fine. try and not run into. Because never last long in our campaign. All right. Drop a horse. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, if you're, if you're, question. okay. Uh, so when we pulled up on this end where it looked like the dead were rising, these guys were running out of it. Yep. And they had and they, they had the two bodies of the cleric and the paladin like flung over their shoulders as they were going into a uh, carriage to get away. And the cleric and the paladin look like injured or dead. Injured or dead? Yeah, they looked they looked pretty crispy. But then the people carrying them oh. looked like what? They looked perfectly Blue fine. They were just like black. these bluish black robes. Okay. We don't know what they look like. Yeah, oh, technically. Okay, pulling up on these guys. Pew pew. All right, uh, go ahead. Uh, go ahead and give me one more uh, handling check to uh, be able to safely stop this. Natural twenty for twenty-five. Fuck Perfect. Yeah. So you're able to pretty much just like bring it, bring the cart to like an like a very safe halt, avoiding like all the debris and shrapnel being thrown about as you're probably about now 15 feet away from this uh, completely destroyed carriage, no movement seems to be coming out of it. As you can see that the driver was thrown probably about 30 feet the other direction and their head is, like the top of their head's pretty much touching the back of their shoulder blades at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she, yeah, I remember that once. She just parks the cart, grabs her sword, grabs her shield, chops the arrow and steps off and starts looking around for any survivors i start i jump out after danielle and i'm looking around for that cleric that i knew had the shard what about the rest of you so inside the cart was the cleric and the driver cleric no the, the cleric paladin. and the paladin and but then yeah, whoever took them. Yeah, quick question. Was the paladin in their armor or not? No. Hmm. Where is the paladin? Both the paladin and the cleric, the last time you saw them, are in that burning cart. Um, I go... So it's not technically really burning go. anymore because of with like the jackknife roll and everything, it Mold would extinguish the flames. Yeah, Smoldering cart. I, I go straight into the... All right, so everyone's heading towards the cart. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm going to meander my way there, um, kind of following the path that the tumbling cart took. It, it, I'm just going to look in the debris if there's anything useful on the way there. Uh, go ahead and give me any, an investigation roll. valuable that I find on the way there. Uh, it's not terrible. It's a 16. A 16? Um, as you're like looking about, you do see the discarded shard sort of free and out of the bag, just sort of off to the side, uh, uh, partially hidden underneath uh, a couple planks of wood. And when we saw the um, paladin pick this up, we saw their glove turn like red hot from the heat of this yep. thing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I am going to, uh, believe it or not, I have a spell for this. I, I am going to uh, kind of hold my hand out and starting from the tip of my finger and working its way up my arm, this like metallic chromatic liquid spreads across my hand uh, as I cast iron hand and that one arm becomes immune to fire damage and, and heat of any kind. Okay. Uh, and I use it to pick up the shirt. Okay. And as your hand goes close to this thing, it's like you cast iron hand. The moment you get within like a foot of it, you can see the iron on your hand, like the, just like the black metallic liquid peeling away to expose your flesh as it's like this metal is eating the uh, magical energy from your spell. Okay, I'm not picking it up. I can try something, and I'm more to Mage Hand on it. Let's see if I can help Chloe yeah. out. Mage Hand comes by, and like you just see it pretty much visibly disintegrate as it gets okay. close to the shard. Did I maybe look around for either that bag that they had, that they put it in, or the glove that they used? Uh, the glove itself it was a part of the paladin's armor. Right. Um, Is the bag around? Go ahead and give me an investigation roll. See if you can find the okay. bag. I got a plus three. So that's a 15? A 15? You do find a bag, though. It's torn to shreds. It almost looks like somebody just took claws and just ripped it open. Probably Is there any way I can take up. the scrap? Oh, oh, can I cast mending on it? you can i will cast mending on it and i'll pick it up and it'll hopefully be i'll be able to scoop it in there um yes you can most definitely just scoop it into there i would love to oh i accidentally clicked it um but yes i will cast mending on it um and i'll touch the bag and it'll sort of like you do like a nice golden glow and it'll look like it's being sewn back together like that it'll be perfect and then i'll just go over and try to like <laughs> very awkwardly try to scoop it and in you there. very awkwardly try to scoop it in there and as you do you can just feel that there's just that uncomfortable corrupted heat still emanating off of this shard but you're able to scoop it into the bag and seal it shut without it doing any damage to you and as you do danielle you hear an audible screech coming from the cart as these two like misshapen bodies sort of spring out landing on the um the sides of this destroyed cart and just staring at you with like just this burning rage in their eyes their bodies completely gray like the eyes is burning a bright bright blue as you're looking at what looks to be the reanimated forms of both the cleric and the paladin and that is where we are stopping for this week no, 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 I like that cliffhanger. I was gonna say, I was gonna wait for everyone to do their thing. I was like, I'd like to check on them, but yeah, I wanted to see about the bodies. Oh, yeah, you like, saw about the bodies. Gone. Yeah, they're gone. Yeah. You were heading towards them and they popped out. <laughs> yep. Surprise. Well, dang. Yep, and I'm right Surprise. next to them. Shit. Yep. <laughs> Are you guys on it's like fine. a different map or something that I'm uh, I didn't know. I didn't, uh, I didn't no, bring up a map. Of mine. The, the, only time I, the only time I technically bring up maps is when combat happens. Oh, okay. Which this technically that was scene. The, the chase yeah, scene. Okay. The chase scene technically was combat, but at the same time, if anybody's ever tried to do a chase scene on a map, it is a pain. Oh. It is a pain. <laughs> so it's best I to was... just theater of the mind those. 
I was unsure about like rolling for initiative or anything like that, but it seems not necessary for that chase scene. Oh. It was yeah. more just like everyone we does made it just work. Try to just throw everything we have at it. So, but I think that was a successful little run that we had today. <laughs> yeah. yeah, indeed. You all feeling comfortable with your characters? All happy with uh, your choices that you made in life? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. So far. <laughs> Are so we far. ever happy with our choices in life? <laughs> so, would you like to move up to level three? Yes. I wouldn't say no. I'm good with it. Because you're going to be going up to level no. three. Hey, oh, no. Double level. <laughs> Triple level, technically. No. Level, one, really level one for an introduction, just because, you know... It's a nice little uh, nod and everything. Um, but before we go, if we're going to do that, and also because level three or level two, depending on whatever, cla whatever class you are, you are going to have your spell, your uh, subclass uh, taken off. Uh, Azrin, yes, I do, ha I do have that I have auto success in my notes. That is going to be used... Uh, in a very devious manner. Shit. I'm scared. Everyone's shit. <laughs> so, um, before we head off, let's go ahead and roll HP. Oh boy. Uh, we'll Do go. We'll roll? go. We'll go one at a time. We'll go one at a time. Um, I get a big one, do I? Because I'm I'm squishy. You're, you're, you're a D six, yeah. <laughs> oh, um, you and me are both six. Box. Now uh, I have to choose which of my D sixes I'm gonna use. Box. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with you. Oh, I get to roll d8 for Bard, uh, and I rolled a 5 and a 7, so not too bad. Very nice. Uh, Gilly. I'm rolling d6s for my uh, sorcerer. I, I rolled one, so I'm going to re-roll those, because I yep. got double ones. Yep, you, you, <laughs> can re -roll ones. you can re-roll uh, ones. You rolled the Azarin. Yep. Yeah, so I got a 6 yep. and a 4 that time. Nice. Very nice. Nice. Uh, Malls, what about you? Do I, is it a 2d6? Yes. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, yeah, two it'll levels. be 2d6 and you add your con oh, no. modifier. I will do twice. twice. Yeah. My con modifier? Yeah. Twice. Yep. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, because every time you level up and roll HP, whatever you roll on that level's HP, you also add your con modifier to it. So your con is oh. a plus two. Yes. So it'd be plus four total. I got a five and a three. So that's eight plus four. That's twelve. Not bad. Nice. Not three. bad. Uh, Cass. So two d six plus d eight con modify. Your your uh your uh artificer. It die uh, as an artificer a, is d eight. You're not as squishy people. Okay. Not as squishy, but yeah. So I'm so sorry. What did I start out with for hit points? Uh, it would be, max. yeah, it would be your max plus your constitution modifier. So six eight. plus two, so eight. Eight. So, yeah. okay. So I'm at 20. Okay, there we go. So y'all, I mean, y'all will have to send this to me anyway, because yeah. I need your subclass information and all that stuff too. And all right. All I wonder how. So 2d8. Oh. Plus your con modifier So for each one. So it's a d8 plus con for each one. So, Okay. What was the first roll? Six. Nice. Plus on modifier, which is four, so ten, right? No, nice. You know, con, con mod, your con is eighteen. Plus two. Your yes. con, your yeah, your con's eighteen, so it's plus four. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, so plus ten, and then second one. Yeah, I was here. I was like writing it down, trying to figure it out. Seven plus four. So, so another 11. twelve or eleven. You're right. I can't so, count. Total of adding 21 to 12. Just remember this yep. so you three? guys can send it to me. Not, no, it's yeah. 21. It, you you I, rolled I, I 21. I have 12. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So, yes, 21 plus 12. Is 33. The total, 33. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Weirds, what about you? I get to roll the d12 because I'm staying barbarian. I would hope so. You're only level one. Don't be multi-classing in the level two. <laughs> right, so that is an eight plus 
three, so that's 11. Nice. And then... Oh, 12! <laughs> so that's Dang. 15 on top of that. Probably good for that the only, like, one of the only frontline people you have is probably having good HP. Yes. Dun, dun. I'm working on it. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> da, 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 dun. And then... Zoro. Uh, I rolled a seven and a four plus four altogether for my con. So I have a total of 25 HP. Very nice. So in two weeks, we will be back. I hope that everyone's character sheet is updated with all your new special information. Um, and then we will be picking up. Um, what is two weeks? That is the 30th. Real quick. Um, yes. When we normally do level ups, the stuff doesn't kick in until we take a long rest. Do you want that to be the case for this as nope. well? Or do you want us stuff to Stuff will have... kick in tomorrow. Uh, stuff will kick in right away. Okay. Just to make the fight a little. I figured that's where you're going with it. Woohoo, second level spells. Because uh, first level fights, uh, level one fights are rough to do anything to like show the danger of the fight. Because that's usually somebody getting down in one shot. Yep. That, that's not fun. But yeah, so that is going to do it for us tonight. Though, not the only show that we do. Uh, coming up on Monday uh, is going to be another episode of Destiny Forge as we go into the second episode of our uh act two of the campaign um and then on is it th this tuesday that coming up that you guys have stores or is this the next i never remember it's the next one it's okay not this one. okay so there will be no star wars on tuesday but the next tuesday there will be um on this upcoming thursday is going to be another episode of tricorn isles which is a fifth edition uh I see adventure game that uh, I run uh, on the alternating Thursdays. We have mass effect horizons, which is a fifth edition uh, mod mass effect game run by Zorro. Um, on Saturday, this upcoming Saturday, we are going to have another episode of wayward wanderers, which is a pathfinder to extinction curse campaign run by Azarin. And then you have us on the alternating Saturdays here for uh, withered wastes. Um, and then coming up on the 30th as well will be episode four of our new show of would be heroes, which is a modified kids on bikes game that, uh, sort of takes inspiration from the old, uh, X-Men cartoons and everything like that and puts a little bit of a high school twist on it. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so that's going to do it for us tonight. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And we will catch you on Monday for Destiny Forged. Until then, later. Bye. Bye. Bye.